We got a good one for you tonight with uh, the number four Pine Creek Eagles, 5-0 and on the year, taking on the number 14 Fountain Fort Carson Trojans, who is also 5-0. and So somebody's going to leave here tonight with a, with a loss. Um, so um, beautiful night tonight. You know, perfect weather for a Thursday night football game. As usual, uh, myself, Coach Don Chapman, with uh, Coach Chris Coulter here, and then uh, and behind the scenes, and we'll chime in every now and then, Greg Nowens. Uh, we're going to bring you a great one tonight as we get ready for captains. But, Chris, uh, we got a good one here. We got, uh, some, we got some fireworks that could possibly know, when, go off. Whenever you describe what we're doing and who we're with <laughs> and what we're amongst, it's the phrase "better than I deserve" comes up. Uh, but this is a situation. I don't know who ordered the weather. I heard you did. But I tell you what, it's almost hot out here, and it's a good situation for uh, for everybody. And it's a great night to watch some watch some big time uh, 5A football in the state of Colorado. We got some. Uh, I tell you what, uh, in terms of running the ball, I don't think you get a better football game in the state of Colorado this week. No, I mean, these two teams have built their their, their, their programs on running the ball, and, you know, it, it, this is a battle for all intents and purposes uh, for Colorado Springs. You know, you got Pine Creek on the north end of Colorado Springs, uh, and Fountain Fort Carson on the south end, and, uh, and, and there's definitely no love lost between these two schools over the years, as, you know, you can tell us the records. Absolutely, uh, absolutely. And the thing about it is, is we do. We... Uh, being from Pine Creek, we do have a long history uh, with the uh, Fountain Fort Carson uh, folks. We do have a, uh, a history of a lot of great games, great engagements. The uh, the history, the the record is nine and four. Uh, Pine Creek is uh, in on the on the good side, on the nine side of that situation. But at the same time, uh, they lied. They won about a year ago, fourteen nothing. So the game wasn't a blowout, but it clearly was a good game. Yeah, and, and then Final Four Carson. You know, I, I was at that game last year. Oh man, they 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 were loaded. Pine Creek was loaded. It was a great game down in Fountain. And like you said, it was fourteen zero. And it was a hard-hitting game. I yeah, I'll mean, tell you what, these teams have been, I mean, when you look at the kids that have come through these two schools and then how they've gone on to Division One, Division II, uh, you know, uh, you know, JUCO programs uh, and the likes, the, you know, I'll tell you what, there's been a lot of kids that have been in these situations, the Fountain Fort Carson versus Pine Creek game. Uh, and uh, I'll tell you what, uh, the accolades uh, are far and, and wide relative to the kids that have come through here uh, and how they've moved their careers forward forward uh, in the game of football. Yeah, definitely uh, two programs, like you said, are very familiar with each other. They, uh, we've played each other, you know, 13 times, like you said, and uh, I expect a, a very hard-hitting well, round what, and what, game. what I'm excited to see is the 5A leading rusher in the state of uh, Colorado uh, with Fountain Fort Carson. He's, uh, he's coming into this particular game with 850 yards. His name is Matthias Price. Uh, he comes into this game with 850 yards. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm not wolfing you when he averages 9.14 yards per carry. Yeah, we'll, uh, this is no joke. We'll come back to that uh, right after the national anthem here.
are back from the national anthem. Uh, getting ready to kick off here. It looks like uh, Fountain Fort Carson won the toss and elected to defer to the second half. So that means uh, Pine Creek will probably be receiving the ball here in the first. Tell you what, I look, I'm looking forward to the game plan uh, tonight. Uh, and I'm, I'm looking forward to see how uh, Jonathan Core comes out. He's, he continues to have a phenomenal, uh, phenomenal year. He's averaging what, over seven yards a carry uh, in his uh, in his senior campaign. But at the same time, uh, you know we're we're in a situation tonight where we've got, uh, in terms of running backs, we probably have three of the uh, top five running backs in the state of Colorado uh, in 5A football that are uh, going to be uh, going to be playing for us in front in front of us uh, tonight. Yeah, there's a, definitely a lot of talent out on the field tonight on both sides of the, uh, uh, the ball as far as, you know, Fountain Fort Carson and, and Pine Creek. A lot of guys that will probably go on to play at the next level, at, uh, you know, whether it's Division two, Division one, or whatever. But there's a lot of guys out there that will be playing football beyond high school, and not a lot of people can say that. Don, a lot of questions going to be answered tonight. Uh, I look at the, uh, you know, Fountain Fort Carson, like you said, comes into this particular game 5-0, uh, and oh, but at the same time, I look at the, the teams that they have played. I don't want to sort of bank on those teams, but I have yet to see, I mean, the Doherty's, uh, Pueblo West, you know, they, they have a famous history and there's certainly a lot of great contests with Pine Creek. Uh, but Highlands Ranch is down this year. Falcon is down this year. Pomona's down this year. Yep. Doherty's down this year. So I think, uh, you know, it's one of those things. I think we're going to find an awful lot out about Fountain Fort Carson football tonight. Absolutely. So we're going to get ready for the kickoff here. Kick is away. It is a line drive. It is fielded at the 15-yard line. Looks like he's going to be tackled, and he's going to be coming down around the 32. All right. Yeah, like you said, uh, it's definitely the tale of uh, two different type of five and other teams. Uh, you know, Pine Creek has kind of, you know, with, with the, with the uh, forfeit, you know, that's, that was out of their control, but then they've played some top. 5A schools in the exactly. state of Colorado. So it's good to see Cam Cooper back on the uh, on the field. Um, you know he uh, had a had an injury the at the Denver East game. Yep. Uh, had a well, I think it was a concussion. Uh, so it's good to see him back out on the field and sort of it's the same situation that we've seen before. Two by one set. He's in gun. Looks like he's going to fake the handoff. He's going to throw it to the right hand side. It is caught. It is gone. It is caught. Cannon it is Mr. Budge. That didn't take very long. No, no. I mean, got him. Uh, you know, they. You know, <laughs> Cam Cam Cooper. That's his throw, man. He puts that on the money. One play. Wow. Sixty-seven yards, I believe. Um, it's a great way to start for Pine Creek if you're Pine Creek. Let's take what, a look at the replay on that. You can do it a whole lot better than that. Um, look at that. Got him with a note the date and time. Todd yeah. Miller came out and chucked it on the first play. On the replay, it looks like it was just a, like a double move, fake that little uh, bubble screen, and uh, Budge, Budge he just kind of turned it up and kept going and got behind it, the tell defender. What, Budge made it look easy. Cam made it look easy. I'll tell you what, I like the uh, the play action. Uh, had some guys coming up. Yep. Had those linebackers coming up. Uh, made those uh, defensive backs, including the safety, sort of do a little bit of a second guess. They weren't running as fast as they probably could have. Yep. But at the same time, I tell you what, we have Fountain Fort Carson's attention uh, uh, hey, at this 50, time. We're 15 seconds into the game. We're at 7-0 Pine Creek. I'll tell you uh, what. Um, Fountain Fort Carson probably didn't want that to happen. You know, no, no team does. But um, – We'll see how they bounce back and how they respond when we get into the when they get on offense. But uh, right now, special teams need to do their jobs. Like I've always said, there's three. Uh, every coach, you know, like you would say, Chris, too. There's three facets to this game: That's right. <laughs> offense, defense, and special teams. And uh, Pine Creek special teams has been a. You know, there's yeah, been some shaky bit. moments throughout the, the, this year so far, so now they need to get down and cover. I just have got to get some of the magic beans that Pete Isaiah has. <laughs> How he convinced Todd Miller to go with a bomb on the first play, <laughs> I have never seen. I mean, I tried that for six years, and I couldn't pull that off. I don't know what Pete Isaiah has, but I don't have what he has. You know, I think Coach Miller has been around this game a long time. That You know, he knows that there's an adaptation that he has to go through you as what. you get a little bit older as a coach. <laughs> some, pe some people just get it. Right. Um, that's impressive. That's so we, impressive. Looks like we have number 32 and number 24 back deep for uh, Fountain Fort Carson. That's going to be Devin Bradford and Terrence Morris, who's... Terrence Morris uh, is an interesting cat. Yeah. I'll tell you what, that kid, he's got uh, six touchdowns on the year. And I'm not kidding you, Don, averages almost 13 yards a carry. So... 
Yeah, he would have my attention. Yeah, definitely. He's a, I'm sure he's a speedster. Fountain for Carson always got dudes that can run track they and sure play do. football. So. Jonathan Core approaching the kick. Looks like the kick is now away. Uh-oh. That's going to be muffed out the That's back. That's going to be muffed it's out the back of the end zone. Yeah. So uh, Mr. Morris, yeah, he, he didn't field that one very cleanly. No, nope, so it's uh, Fountain Fort Carson to take over on the twenty yard on their 20-yard line. Um, interested to see Pine Creek's defense. You know, they, they played a run really, really well, and, and – you know, that's Fountain Fort Carson's strength. So it's going to be two opposing uh, forces. Th th absolutely. <laughs> this has got Wibble's name all over. Yeah. So, I'll tell you what, this is a linebacker football game. And uh, they got a kid named from a uh, kid named Miller out there. And I think he's going to probably have an awful lot of uh, fun out there yeah. tonight. And Fountain Fort Carson's got one of probably the top linemen in the state of Colorado. Uh, a kid named Lincoln. I, I can't pronounce his last name. We got a three back set. Handoff is to number two on the left, runs to the left hand side to the far yep. side of the field. He's going to pick up quite a few yards. This is about a five, six yard pickup on that. Yeah, he's going to run all the way up to about the 25 yard line. Coach Boom Boom said he's uh, gl glad to see uh, Coach Chabot and Coach Coulter back on the mic. I'll tell you what, Coach Boom Boom, if it, uh, I tell you what, you, when you say better than I deserve, <laughs> when you got Coach Boom Boom involved, um, I'll tell you what. But at the same time, we got all got to understand where they come from. They come from Rampart. They come from Rampart. They, that's where they come from. The great ones come from Rampart. Is that what it is? All right, so Found Fort Carson comes out. They're in a uh, gun and an eye back set. It's play action. He's going to hand off. Yep. Pine Creek's all over that. Pine Creek's all over that. They anticipated that, but it's going to be a short game, maybe a gain of one, maybe two. Yeah. So it's going to bring up about third and three, maybe three and a half. Um, See what if if uh, Fountain Fort Carson is uh, willing to put the ball in the air. I mean, they got the best running back statistically in the state of Colorado right now. Yeah, but at the same time, uh, as you remember, Denver East, they had the best uh, middle linebacker in the state of Colorado statistically. And I don't know, he didn't have much of an impact. And he's still actually the, the leading tackler yeah. in the state of Colorado. Yeah. And Denver East is still a top 20 team. By, but yeah, I don't know if you knew that anymore, but uh, yeah, we're playing good teams. Hand off to the left-hand side, they stopped and him. yeah, that's not going to be short. short. It's going to be short of the first down. Yeah, it's going to be about a yard short. It's going to uh, bring up an interesting uh, situation for Fountain Fort Carson. Do they? Very interesting. Do they feel they can move the ball one yard? Um, looks like Coach Navani doesn't think so. So he's going to be, you know, play it prudently and, and punt the ball away. Coach Wibble's putting in the uh, the meat and potato squad. A little bit of the Balco group is yep. in there now. So just to make sure we keep Found Fort Carson honest, but at the same time, Found Fort Carson's a well-coached team, so I'm sure they're going to have yeah. uh, the right answer for uh, the situation. Yeah, and, and, and you know these games at this level in 5A, it's, it's a chess match, you know, you know moving pieces around, see what's going to work. There's a snap. Um, the punt is now away. It is a decent punt. Looks like it's It is true. now advanced at about the 40-yard line, picked up at, by Pine Creek. And he is re still running, still running. Ramon Pacheco. Down inside, inside the 50, down to the 45-yard line. Looks like maybe even the 44 or 43 uh, on the yeah, let's take, side of the 50. Let's look at that uh, on the instant replay. Ramon was going to let it bounce, but then he got a favorable bounce, and boom, he picked it up, spin move. I'll tell you what, I like that kid. Bounds. I'll tell you what, he's a football player. Hey, Ramon is my dude. That he guy, is a football player. He, he gets after it. He's been getting after it. He works at his craft. I, lo I uh, love it. I'll it, tell you what. If Fountain Fort Carson puts the ball up in the air, I can tell you Ramon's going to get one. That's right. He's going to get one. Pine Creek comes out there in a gun set, one back, um, two to the near side. We're going to throw ah, it back. A little Ooh. high. He had him. Ooh. Yeah, you got to work on now. the footwork there. Cam, yep. Cam got the footwork a little bit uh, a little bit relaxed there. you got to be disciplined on that footwork yeah. as QB. you got to drive that in on that little hits route. So, yeah. but uh, Throwing to the far side, it was there. It yeah. was there. Looks like uh, number 11 uh, should plan to get tested tonight. So. I, I was just going to say the exact <laughs> same thing because even if uh, – I mean, the only thing that probably worked out for him there was just the situation on the pad. That was just an errant yeah. pass. Uh, that wasn't because the defensive back was no, uh, making uh, a play. No, Elijah had plenty of room to make a move. He sure did. He's playing seven, eight yards off. So. And I'll tell you what, once Elijah has the ball in space, uh, man, I'm putting the money on the, on the Eagles' side of the ball. Snap inside handoff. Jonathan, Jonathan Core on the right hand side. He's nice gone. move he's to the left hand side. He's coming down the sideline. Nice. He's coming down the near sideline. And he's going to be bumped out just inside the 10 yard line. Looks at about just inside the five yard line. Yes, that was a so nice, about the three -yard nice line. adjustment by Jonathan. He, uh, you know, did I'll tell you what, that was a great. I love that. I love yeah. that eye set. Let's look at this replay on this, Chris. I mean, yeah, that's reminiscent of boom. sort of old Pine Creek. Yeah, here Kinda. we go. He's bouncing to the left. Boom. Accelerating. 
Wow, that was yeah. nice. That got, was nice. Pine Creek comes back out, one back set, and another inside handoff. Coming inside, they're inside the five. Yeah, Pine Creek's moving again. Uh, you know, I think Fountain Fork Carson, <laughs> if they kind of get, they go down 14 nothing in the first three yeah. minutes of this game. It's, it's going to be an uphill climb. I mean, it's not, it's real, a lot of football get left in this game, but. Yeah, for, for a team that's uh, that's undefeated coming into this game, Fountain Fork Carson, 5A football, coming in 5-0. and uh, a paltry crowd on, on their sideline. I don't see a whole lot of enthusiasm on their side. No. I mean, it's just uh, something something doesn't feel right. Right. And, and you know, for an in-town in rivalry, Absolutely. you got to come pack the house, represent. So, Pine Creek going with their heavy set, one back set. A uh, little bit of uh, yeah, they, Jonathan Court yeah. just took the took the handoff, and I think Fountain Fort Carson knew the yeah. play on that one. That might have been a keep situation for Cam. If he that, had, you're exactly yeah. right. If he had yeah. that read option on that, I, that yeah, he probably that, wanted to keep it. Because hopefully that was an RPO. Yeah. We're gonna learn. We're gonna learn something on Monday film on that one. Right, right. Um, so uh, brings up third and goal with uh, eight minutes and 18 seconds left in the first quarter. Pine Creek's uh, knocking on the door of another score here. What did you say, Chris? You go for it. The defense is playing well. If you if you get in fourth down situation, t he, two he, down territory. He threw a 67 yard pass on the first play. <laughs> so guess what? I got a feeling he's gonna go. Here yeah, we go, one back set. They're going to get behind Kai. Jonathan Kors deep in the backfield, man in motion from the far side there to the near is. side. He's going to roll out. Little Dropped it off to number 33. Oh, he should have just ran that. Should have just ran that, but. Uh, he had two guys. The guy pass. in the back, the back of the end zone was wide open. Yeah, pass was a little, I don't know. You got to lead him on that. Yeah, let's at the take same a look time. at that. Because uh, I'm looking at that. I'm like, Cam, go to the back of the end zone. You got a nice little easy toss. If you look right here in the back, I mean, I like the play. Screen, 43 is wide open. Yeah. I go. Yeah, I like I the know. play. All right, I don't here know. we go. Jonathan Core's going to set up for a field goal. You had options on that. So the easy option sometimes ain't the best it's one. It's like about a 23 yard field goal. Snap is back. Kick is up. Looks and good. it is good. All right, that's a five for Car Carson. Dodged the bullet on that. Uh, with Pine Creek uh, knocking at the door on uh, first and goal and couldn't get in and had to settle for a field goal. So that's going to make it 10-0, to zero, Pine Creek with uh, seven minutes and 46 seconds in, left in the first quarter. Yeah, I mean, I not, don't mean to harp on it. We did score, uh, so you got to be got to be happy about yeah. that. But at the same time, you want you want touchdowns. You want touchdowns. Don. They all want touchdowns. I mean, I'm from the Don Chapman school of uh, offensive uh, genius, <laughs> and it's a, it's about getting the ball in the end zone. Hey, you know, Chris, you know, offensive coaches, every play oh, is designed to score. Yeah, how can we score? Yeah, it's, it's, every every play hey, you put together is right. designed to score. I've seen the look on those kids' faces. <laughs> you know, well, hey, when can we run the reverse? When right. can we when can we do the <laughs> Get the, the Philly special. Uh, absolutely. Get, so, when can we get Philly in? Hey, while we're on the kickoff, I just uh, we got a um, shout out. Jared Abara, number 24, wants to dedicate dedicate this game to his ailing grandpa in San Antonio, Texas, absolutely. who's watching right now. Kick is away. It's a great kick. Jonathan Core. He kicked wow. it all the way through the end. That thing landed on the track. Wow. I'll tell you what, that kid. Uh, he's probably going to get a couple of cards, a couple of a uh, couple of notifications from a couple kip kicking hey, coaches I, out there. I've told him uh, over the, the the last couple of years, like, hey man, I know playing running back is cool, yeah. scoring touchdowns is cool, but but man, hey, yeah, scholarships comes in all different forms. They sure he's do. A, he's a heck what. of a kicker. Tell you what, not as much ibuprofen in your life if, uh, if it's, it's going to be a kicker. Yeah. So let's uh, find four cards are going to take the field. Let's see if they're going to be willing to get the ball in the air. Although one of the strongest kids I know is uh, is Luke Wheeland, and that kid, he, I think he benches 400 pounds, <laughs> and I think he was a kicker. Uh, I don't know if you've seen that kid lately, but yeah, he's they're thick. Try to overload, get a sweep. Here we on go. This. Yeah, they're going heavy on the side on the quarterback's right hand side, inside handoff. Whoa. He's a little bit of a run pass option. Yep. Quarterback kept it. Uh, he got brought down pretty quickly, maybe a gain of two. Yeah. Defense, oh, they're going to give him about f five yards on that, actually. Huh. Uh -huh. Favorable spot, four, four yards. Um, little quarterback read, uh, backside linebacker stayed home, did his job. Quarterback doesn't. He's not intimidating me. He's not doing anything to, uh, no. you know, sort of make people miss either. No, you know, that's not. That's not what I expect out of Found Fork. I mean, I don't know if you remember a couple of years ago. <laughs> yeah. It was the year. I think it was uh, in 2018. That quarterback. I don't know how he was still walking at the end of the game. Right. That dude. <laughs> uh, he must have run. A, he must have run a marathon. <laughs> 
that day, that Saturday. Well, they, they've had a, they had a four-year starter that just kind of got Three by it. one set. They're going to do a, a handoff to the eye back from Fort Carson, and that's picked up very, yeah, very quickly. Jared, Jared We're going to be doing the third down. Jared Abar in on the tackle that him, and uh, I want to say it was uh, Matt, Matthew Jerry, number uh, 11. Tell you what, the uh, Pine Creek defense—they're uh, ready to go. I'll tell you what, Coach Wibbles, uh, his pregame speech—he must have been uh, very motivating yeah. uh, because uh, they are playing very, very well, and they're not—they're uh, not falling for the you know it, no penalties. They're not right. falling for they're not coming off sides. You know all the various little things that sort of push uh, push the needle into sort of the frustrated direction. Definitely. So we got the snap. It's a quick pass to the right hand side, and Ooh. that is going to be too far from number 45 outside of uh, outside of his outstretched hands. Yep. Uh, quarterback. I don't know. Found four Carson. They're just not real as sharp as I thought they would be. You know, and I think what it is, Chris, is um, you know they've been they've been successful the last what five games running the ball. Now Pine Creek's getting them out of character. Yeah. So now you know you get uncomfortable when you got to do things you don't you're not familiar with like throwing the ball. So if Pine Creek can maintain and, and stop the run, this could be an early night for. Um, Fountain Fort Carson. Snaps back to the Fountain Fort Carson kicker. It's a good punt. And it's punt is fielded, fielded quickly. Ramon, he's Ramon, got some room. He's got, he's got some room. room. He's got to make one move. And then he's running back to the near side. I'll tell you what, that was a nice return. Nice return. Ramon's Very getting it down nice in the return. special team. And like, uh, he's going to have the return down. It looks like it's going to be inside the 30-yard line. Yep. Let's look here, here we go and replay. Fielded it clean like a... And then just kind of found the lane and got some blockers out in front of him. Picked up a good block, you know. Um, again, Pine Creek starts out in excellent field position on uh, Fountain Fort Carson's 27-yard line. Yeah, very good situation. They're on the uh, the near hash, one back set. Let's see if we one can... wide receiver to the wide side. Quarterback looks like he's back to pass, looking to the two there receiver is. side. There's the ah. post. Yeah, we've seen that post before. Yeah, that post is uh. That's, that's been the, the go-to moneymaker for Pine Creek. Sure so, has. Um, it was there, just a little bit of in front of them. So. Yeah, it was there. It just would have required um, a, a pass that would have been a little bit more on target, but at the same time, uh, maybe, maybe got a little more air underneath it. Yeah, give yep. the, Let give, him, and he's thrown that in the past. Give Elijah to get him to run underneath yep. it. So he's done that in the past where he just put it up there and let Elijah run underneath it. Right. Um, let's get Johnny going. Tell you what, we got another one back set. Yep. Two receivers to the near side, one receiver to the far side. Cam is handing the ball to Jonathan Core, and now he, he is. Gone. Jonathan he Core gone. is made a couple people miss. Wow. And I'll tell you what, we're not kicking field goals anymore. No, no. no. I, I mean, that was a great little zone run on that one. Jonathan, he found the crease and just darted in there. I'll put, tell you what. put his foot down. Look, look at the Let's replay. Look at that on that. replay. Boom. I'll tell you what, I'm impressed. Look at the offensive line. I'll tell just you what, they're just, new and, they're just moving people. Yeah. And, and uh, that's going to make it 16-0 with still five minutes and 50 seconds left in the um, first quarter. I'll tell you what, hats, hats off to the offensive line. Yeah. Hats off. And those guys up there, man, they, they played a lot of football as a unit, and, and, and this is their year. But this yeah. is the best I've seen them play. I mean, yeah. you know, Denver East, you know, I mean, they got they got people, um, you know, I mean, Valor, I don't even think we would, we saw, but Valor, we had a lot of, we had a lot of success running yeah. the ball, too. Yeah. But, man, I'll tell you what, Found Fort Carson, they, they, they don't look like they belong. You know, sometimes you, you go through, you know, a season where you're 5-0 and and, yeah. You know, then you then you got to play somebody, right? And, <laughs> and and I think that's what they're realizing, and and hopefully they can snap out of it. I mean, right now, that sideline is like just in shock, shock and awe. It's like we're down 17 nothing. We still got half of the first quarter left. Yeah, they've got athletes over five there. Minutes in, uh, five minutes and five minutes and 50 seconds left in the first quarter folks and it's 17 nothing Pine Creek. Pine Creek is looking like they're firing on all cylinders right now. They sure are. They sure are. The game plan's working. Uh, the, the passing game's working. The running game's working. The kicking game's working. The defensive side of the ball is working. Um, I think everything's going. And the only thing we haven't seen so far is a punt. Yeah. And that's a good thing. Uh, we got a couple shout outs while we got a few seconds. Uh, we got Lucas from the Elite one of our uh, program here, a youth program that's done, uh, had a lot of success. And shout out 
Let's go Pine Creek. Let's go Ramon Pacheco. Jonathan Court kicks off. And, and he's struggling the, back there. Yeah, the Mr. 32. Morris. Yeah, Mr. Morris is having a hard time fielding the ball. So it is going to be first and 10. Found for Carson at the 20-yard line. Yep. So we got another shout out while we're uh, got the uh, uh, Fort Carson uh, offense coming out. Shout out number four, Cannon Budge. Go Eagles. Uncle John, Aunt Chelsea, Gigi Rush, Laker from Saratoga Springs, Utah. I think they sent me the same text each so week. So did Cannon play quarterback yes, uh, last week? He was did. He was, uh, you know, we kind of got in that wildcat. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'll tell you what. Right, here we go. I found Fort Carson comes out. They're in a heavy set. Yep. Uh, one running back in sort of a dot. They're moving uh, tackles. And they like to be get behind number 45, too, Chris. That's Here their go. guy. It's going to be handoff to the right hand and side. And actually, it's not going to be. Ooh, a handoff. that was a nice fake. It's a fake handoff, and he would decide he to roll it. He probably gave yeah, that because that was open. That yeah, sure was. Um, yeah, they're almost doing it to themselves. That was a tough situation because I, I like the idea, but uh, at the same time, I just don't think they probably trust him to, to throw the ball. But I think that opportunity, obviously, you know, will probably present itself next year when we see him again. Yep. So uh, we got a shout out from Jim and Beth. Thankful for influence. The influence of Pine Creek football over our three sons from 20, uh, from 2005 to 2012, now living in New York City. Found Fort Carson in a heavy set. Looks like a uh, handoff to uh, the big guy. Yep. Uh, and he's he's stymied for probably about maybe two or three yards. Yeah. And, I, and you know, it's, if that's if that's the game plan, if you're going to get behind it like you've done over the last five games, you may have to go to halftime and maybe even second quarter and come up with some, something else and try to get, like like Coach uh, Nolan said, get, try to get on the edge, you know, to try to get, give them different opportunities. He's we, a good he's a good looking running back, though. I'll tell you I mean, what, he's he's running hard. I he mean, runs if he, hard. If he can get some meat and potatoes in front of him doing what they need to do, he can he can sort of maybe, but he's definitely not at 9.14 yards per carry. No, nah, not at the 5A level. So they're going to try to throw the ball. This Quarterback just got the uh, snap. He's going to be throwing the ball. It's a, it's a catch. Yep. They're at about the 32, 33 yard line. Nice, nice safe, catch. Nice, safe pass. We got number seven. Uh, yep. I want to say Keenan Campbell uh, just kind of ran around, sat there, and then waited for his quarterback. He's uh, a nice looking wide receiver out there, yeah. too. I mean, 6'2. 201 receiver. They yeah. they got dudes, man. They got dudes that, that check the boxes for college Jay scouts. Boy. Yeah, they're gonna find a recipe here. See if they can One get out of there. there. They're Looks gonna like try he's to get gonna out throw of the ball again. Oh, he's throwing deep. He's throwing deep to number 45. No in Oh, geez. Kind of got Ladies him on a pass interference. Yeah. You know, Layton's to kind of just move back to back there for some coverage. Uh, you know, for some run support. Now we come back to uh, uh, L Hill. So, yeah, yeah let's take a look at the replay. Kind of got yeah, lost. That's, that's not their best wide receiver either. No. Um, so I just came out the backfield with the running back and um, yeah. you know, kind of challenged. I mean, that looks like it's pretty decent coverage on my end. I mean, yeah, I just don't know. I didn't see the penalty. To be honest with you. <laughs> Sometimes you know, I don't know. Are we in Colorado? <laughs> you know how it is. I'll tell you what. It's Don, Pike Creek, Don. Don. Chris, I mean, you, you've been around I'll long tell you ago. What, I'll tell you what. So that's going to give uh, Fountain Fort Carson a uh, first down. Um, that's right. second first down in a row, one on penalties, one on a nice little pass. All right, stressing so, the defense a little bit. I'll tell you what, now they're inside the 50. Um, we're very, very close to yep. the 50. Uh, we're going to put uh, Coach Wibbles, and we're going to see what he can come up with. Definitely. So let's see what we got there. Uh, see what the Fountain Fort Carson is. They're going to try to go to the air. Going to hand the ball off on the left-hand side. That's a hold on the outside there. He's bumping to the outside, and he did. He bounced to the outside there. Uh, I think we do. We have a penalty. We no. I don't think we do. No, that was. You're kind seeing of a, things, Don. Yeah, that's kind of a. Well, You're I thought it was things. a hold on the outside by number 45. That's you can't what I have was. a hold against. You know, no, there's no holding. <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, that was a nice run. Nice play. Be, it's great yeah, first nice down play. Eight, nice little second eight, down. Second down and three. Yep. Yeah, second down and three. Um, that, those couple little passes open up some things for Fountain Fort Carson. Oh, they rather well, yeah. seem like they got a little bit of life. See it's if they a, can uh, capitalize on this. That was a nice change because he does. The quarterback does have time. So uh, if they can sort of sustain Looks like the, uh, the, the passing game. The game clock just went out on the south end of the field. Oh, it's back up. So looks like we're they're in sync. 
Got to be in sync. All right, while we're a little time out, let's get a couple shout outs. They're coming in fast and furious right now. Uh, let's see. Shout nice out to you guys. Nice crowd the on game. Hand tonight. Shout out from Illinois to our nephew, Leighton Robinson, from Aunt Heather and Uncle David. Go Pine Creek. All right, we're getting set. Found for Carson is in, uh, in a heavy set. Two wide receivers to the left hand side, two running backs, and the handoff is to the right hand side. Yep. And he's going to be, he's gonna be for short. Him next to nothing. No, so, no, yeah, no first down. It's, we're going to third down. And third down. Looks like he lost a yard. Third and four. Third and four. Nice penetration by uh, Dennis, uh, Pine Creek's uh, defensive line on that. I'll tell you what, and I am, uh, you know, I'm not, hopefully, I'm not jinxing it, but. Uh, do you know Pine Creek's overall record all time is 193 and 42? That's not bad. So if we can get to 200 wins, that means we're in the state title, baby. <laughs> is that what the, that's what, hey, it's going to take that. So uh, uh, did you get 200, t state t championship game gets 200, right? I think it, is it about seven more? I mean, we've already got five. We've already played five, right? Yeah. So we got five more. Let's see That's what five. So and then you got at least two more. So if you're at the state title, you you're past. Wow. You're past that. A little quarterback zone read, and uh, he probably should. His. Yeah. I don't know, man. His it looks feet like going where his yeah. uh, where his head was. Yeah, he should have. <laughs> Number five is. He gets downhill. You might want to t take a chance and get behind him. You've done it all year. I'll tell you year. what, I, I, I like him, but at the same time, yeah, you got to get him the ball. And I, and I like the idea of getting him to the edge. I mean, we gave him the best advice he's had all <laughs> night. <laughs> and uh, ball is uh, snapped to the that punter. Go, That's a nice that punt. Go. That's a very nice punt. Ball yep. is going to land in, in the end, end zone. Uh, and it's going to be first and 10 all right. from the 20 yard line for Pine Creek. <laughs> Yeah, 17 to nothing, uh, two minutes and 28 seconds to go in the first quarter. And you're right, uh, we got the full field view of what's about to happen from the 20-yard uh, line marching towards the other end. Yep, so it's uh, Pine Creek can now kind of settle in and get it, sustain the drive. It kind of imposed their will on this Fountain Fort Carson team by Absolutely. driving down the field. So uh, it looks like Coach Miller's going big with Mason in the backfield. Um, so that's going to be... Uh, you know, let's see if they can ground and pound. That's right. They're going two running backs, so actually three running backs in the backfield. See if we can go heavy and see what see what might happen. It's a handoff. Oh, it's a pitch. Pitch back to the quarterback. Cam Cooper's running to the right hand side. He throws he it throws down away. and Smart. he threw it away. Yeah, got got rid of it when he didn't have anything. Wow, that's an Co interesting call. Coach Miller's going into the bag of tricks I'll early. Tell you what? He's trying to put a uh, death blow date. in right now. <laughs> Note the date and time. You know, uh, I haven't seen that. Although I remember when we ran, we ran the hook and ladder against Falcon a bunch of years ago in the state semifinals. You I remember, remember that? that game. I oh, do. Oh yeah, that was fun. That was cold that day. <laughs> that was cold. Tommy, La Tommy Lazaro. Tommy Lazaro. Tommy Lazaro. I remember that. I think that was Avery and uh, yeah. Jojo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. Avery and Jojo. Avery Anderson. All right. So it looks like 11, number 11 is kind of locked in on Elijah to see if he's up to the task. Football's in the middle of the field. We got a man in motion from the quarterback's left to right. Looks like it's going to be an inside handoff to Mason Miller. Hold on to the hold ball. Hold on to the ball, Mason. <laughs> hey, hold on. He needs to grow with two hands, baby. Yeah. Come on, Mason. Don't try to get that extra yard. I'll so. tell you what. He might have the records, but, man, I'll tell you what. I don't know. I don't All right. Know. We got a shout out. Uh, missed, uh, they said they missed us last week, you know, because the Mullen game was out. Up, uh, up at Mullen. Uh, shout out to Luke Zimmerman from Grandma and Grandpa in Disney World. Nice. All right, let's get one more shout out. Play, shout out plays coming in from the sidelines. To side Isaac lines. Landry. Good luck. Uh, good luck. Good game, Uncle Rodney and Aunt Carol from New. Timeout call New by Pine Creek. All right, let's go to commercial break here. At Energy Advantage Roofing and Solar, we're more than just a roofing and solar company. We're a proud supporter of our community. We're thrilled to be partnering with Pine Creek High School right here in the heart of Colorado Springs. Right now, we're offering free solar consultations and free roof inspections. We're committed to delivering top-notch services to elevate your home and contribute to a sustainable future. Join us in supporting Pine Creek High School. Let's make a brighter future together.
he's got the first. Yeah, I think he's going to have the first. Yeah. Nice little sit route by yeah. Luke Zimmerman and Cam put it on the money. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Nice execution. Nice execution. That's what you want to do. That's yep. what you want to see. You want to sustain a drive. Yeah, kind of come out of that break, that yep. little uh, little timeout, but at the same time come out of that and execute, and that's yeah. nice to see. Looks like they're trying some different things at corner. I've seen about three different corners come in on this uh, bottom of the field here. Um, ball is on the near hash. Looks like the ball is going to be handed off to Mr. Core on the left-hand side. It's going to be it's going to be a nice pickup. Pick yeah, about nice. five, six. Five, six, seven yards on that. Yeah, I mean, right in par with his average. So. Sure is. That's not bad living. <laughs> you, nah, if you, live, you, on, what, you, if you live on anything over four yards, oh, wow. you're you doing good. You're you living what. good. So we've run through a few doing 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 much worse. Pine Creek comes out. They're in a three by one set. So three it looks by like one. a little bit of a passing set. Three to the. Um, We're gonna spread them out a little bit. Field. All right. Um, Mason Miller is still in the backfield. He's in a dot set yep. to the right of the quarterback. Cam is going to throw the ball. He looks like he is going to, oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Incomplete uh -oh. pass. His incomplete. Yeah, the referee has not signaled yet. Yep. Yeah, let's take a look at that to see if his arm is moving forward. But um, referee on the field called incomplete. Oof. 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 Might have, might have dodged one on that. Yeah, it looks like we're going to hold on to third down. Third down and about three. Yeah. Found for Carson sold out on that, and they got to Cam and, uh, um, you know, leaked through that offensive line. Two by one. Mason Miller's in a dot set. He's going to hand off to the right-hand side. Mason is going to be picked up very quickly by number Style, 92. Number, number 92 Carson. and number 10 okay, came well, in. Nice job, Anthony man. Johnson Griffin. It's going to uh, be fourth down. Yeah, he came and filled at that uh, – Linebacker position, real good. Tell you yeah, what, why are we 10. going away from Mr. Core? Hey, you know um, what? That's why we're up in the booth, Chris, and not on the field. You know, so. you've been making a good living off of uh, Johnny, and uh, yeah, I you mean, know, that's, that's a that's a nice life. <laughs> that's gonna be the quarter. So, yep, quarter. All right, let's take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Hey there, your class of 2024. Susan Schiller Photography is proud to sponsor Pine Creek High School. One of the biggest parts of senior year is doing your senior portraits. This is your opportunity to shine and show the world who you are. We pour our hearts into your experience and make sure that it's the best out there. Your session will be authentic, creative, and timeless. We specialize in senior portraits and we can't wait to help you make some amazing memories. Joey Hansen at Group Mortgage is your local lender with genuine service at competitive interest rates. Visit joeyhansen.com to contact her and go Eagles. He's a JV coach. All right, we're back and uh, looks like Pine Creek's gonna punt the ball from their own, or will they? There you go, this yeah, is a will they? prime uh, Got the punter Todd about Miller. the 23-yard uh, line. Got a man in motion. Number seven is in motion. There it is. The left side to the right side. There it is, and he picks up the first down. There's a fake punt. And it's it almost first. like it's predictable, yeah, even yeah. though it's not. Don Coach. Chapman, I don't know who's listening <laughs> to this game, but if they were listening to Don, they know they, they just won they just won big money. Yeah, let's take a look. And, and Candy Buzz just kind of picks his hole, find that uh, little yeah, that crease. Was, yeah, that was almost easy. Yeah. Yeah, Candy did a nice job on that. You know, and uh, – there was no selling it. No. It's just like, we're going to run a fake punt. We're coming right at you. What are you going to do? I think they actually put it in a memo <laughs> and gave it to them beforehand. You know? It was on the TPX no, report. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That wasn't, that wasn't wow. sneaky at all. Pine Creek uh, lives. Uh, Pine Creek comes out in a heavy set. they yep. got three running backs back there. And Johnny, Johnny has oh, the he's ball. got room. He's got room. He's making people miss. He runs to the far side. Ooh, stiff arms. And then he's going to be down at about the down at about the 45, 45 44 yeah. yard line. Nice little what, 13, 14 yard pickup yeah, by Johnny, changing direction. 92 was in there and it made Johnny kind of redirect. And Johnny planted his foot and got upfield, got the yards. Cam leading the charge with the block at the quarterback. You don't want to see that, but hey. <laughs> you know, um, 
Don, I, I mean, I feel like I should say I told you so. <laughs> Give it to Mr. Core, man. Hey. Chris, Give it you, to Mr. Core. You've been around this game long oh. enough. You, you know, you know where where the money lies. I'll tell you what, he is. He's. We're cashing checks, man. <laughs> we're cashing checks with that guy. Yeah. All right, we're he's so explosive, and, and that's the thing about it is his explosiveness yeah, allows him to do some things that Mason may not be able to do. Mason's that maybe so. You know that ground and pounder, but. Sometimes, you know. He's just coming right at you, yeah. Fountain Fort Carson, they got dudes that are that got speed, and that's one thing they've always had at Fountain Fort Carson is speed. And you get, the only way to beat speed is with speed. So, right. and, you know, sometimes the ground and pound, and uh, later in the game, that's when it's going to come in handy. But right now, you want to kind of gash them as much as you can and, and take complete control of this game with. Uh, well, I, I would say they have complete control, but yeah. at the same time, you know, let's work on some things, you know. Let's do. You know, 50-50, pass run, or however we want to do it. But the passing game seems to be working, a little bit sporadic, but it seems yeah. to be effective. But at the same time, I mean, I think we could be more productive with it. But, I mean, I don't know. Started off with a 70-yarder, so uh, oh. it's one of those things where, you, you know, you can't be, uh, can't be too, uh, too obnoxious there. Uh, we got a shout-out to class president Micah, all the way from Missouri, watching the game. High Eagles from uh, Papa J. Papa J. Pine Creek comes out, two by one set, two to the near side. Uh, let's see what we got one here. One back set, got a full back over on the left hand side. So, sure. And Johnny's, there he goes. He's gone. He got room. He's got room. Did a nice Ooh. job there holding Johnny's on to the ball. Johnny's killing him right now. Yeah, holding on to the ball nicely too. Because you know, you always worry about the end of the run, what, what's happening there. Yeah, number four uh, for uh, Fountain Fort Carson. Let's look at the replay. Johnny's just hopping over dudes. Almost yeah. like he got a cape on playing Superman out there. Yeah, just it's, getting it done. He's got something going on. <laughs> you know? It's like a slot machine. You got to keep feeding it. It's going to pay off. Oh, and it's been, it's you been and been your penny it. slot stories. Here we go. <laughs> there hand we off. go again. I mean. Ooh, ooh, it looks like a little bit almost. A little horse collar. A little bit of a horse collar there. But at the same time, it looks like, you know, oh, we got. We got, uh -oh. what do we got, we got a lot ahead. of yellow coming in. Yeah, we got some, some kids mixing it up. 59. But they look like uh, they're mixing it up amongst themselves. Yeah. They're well, all Fountain Carson kids. I think Tristan Randall was in the mix, and he kind of scooted out. But uh, let's see what they call. This might be offsetting. Um, but let's see what we got here. It's on them, uh, they're indicating. Yeah, I'll tell you what. It looked like a bunch of uh, all Fountain Fort Carson kiddos. It's too bad. You know, and, 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 and you know, Fountain Fort Carson is probably in an unfamiliar position right now, being down this much so early, and uh, the frustration kind of kick in, and you know, Pine Creek again, bit. knocking yeah. on the door. Um, this I'm right sure, here. I'm sure there are some things being said out there. You know, oh, you, you know, know how it is. is. You know how it goes you know. down. Oh yeah. And it goes down. A couple, the of, couple of reminders <laughs> out there. <laughs> you know. Okay. All right. I'm going to try to give you some uh, on the field angles here. Uh, Pine Creek's going to get it first down on about what, the 13 yard line? We're going to be down to 10 minutes to go in the second quarter here momentarily. We got a shout out for Justice Dickelson from his sister in Arizona. Supporting her. Got a heavy brother. set coming in. Uh, quarterback is in gun. Looks like he's got Mason Miller back there. Yep. He's got a man in motion from the left side, through the right side to the left side. We're going to throw the ball Ooh. to the corner. Good idea. Good idea. Good yeah, idea. I mean, yeah, you got to kind of keep him honest. A little uh, bit of, yeah, it was a little bit of a comeback, but yeah, if you're going to throw that comeback, man, you got to be running. Elijah's got to be get going. <laughs> Come on. Get on his horse. Man, Let's go. Yeah. Basketball, man, you don't let those, don't let the, you got to go in, get that ball before he gets to, uh, to his final destination. All right, what we got here? We got a little bit of delaying setting the ball for some reason all right and here we go i'll tell go. you what yeah pine creek needs to be effective here 945 to go in the second quarter i think you get a little out route uh, we're what you get your tight end involved on a, on a, a drag handoff to mason miller oh a nice hit mason Nice run. That's a nice hard run. That's and a that's, nice hard run. You know, th this Mason. is where Mason pays dividends. Mason, yeah, Mason was given some, uh, given some, given some headaches there. Yeah. I'll tell you what, that's going to be uh, again something you're going to feel in the morning. It's going to bring up. Uh, there is an opportunity to get a first down for Pine Creek uh, at about the three yard line. So 
I mean, I'm going. I, I ain't the coach. I ain't the varsity coach, but uh, I'm going. It's two down territory for me. I'm oh, trying to put Don, this game you, away. As far as I'm concerned, you're Hefe. You are the Hefe <laughs> of this cartel. Here we go. We got, uh, got Mason him. Miller's in the backfield got again. Him. Oh, yeah, I tell you what, got him on. Um, that that'll help your case right I'll there for what. two down territory. I'll tell you what, hey, I, and I apply. I mean, this has never been sort of Pine Creek's expertise to sort of pulling other people off sides. Right. <laughs> it's really never been. I mean, for all intents and purposes, so far they played a real clean they football game. They sure have. Game. They really. I don't have. want to jinx it, so I'm gonna no, knock on some wood. Don't don't yeah, but, don't. Uh, that's not wood. That's <laughs> that's, that's for that's Micah. Plastic. <laughs> that's for Micah. Yeah. That's all we could afford. Yep. Yeah, so uh, Pine Creek's playing clean football, and this is what they had to do. Got him oh, on the jet I like sweep. it. I like it. I like it. Inside ah. handoff. Uh, good just, idea. Good idea. Kind of ran out of real estate. Yeah, running that to the short side. That's yeah. tough to do. That's tough. Yeah, let's take a look at it. I saw Luke come by and picked it up. Uh, Kai guess he usually seals the edge, but that's a big dude out there that he had to just kind of. Did he? Yeah, go for it. Okay, Coach Miller. That's what I'm talking about. Two down territory, baby. Let's get it. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, you got fourth and two. Hey, tight end dump. Tight end Let's see dump. what happens. Let's see what happens. Get him to jump. Don, this has never been our expertise. <laughs> I know, right? And we've been jinxed against Found Four Carson in this situation in the past. <laughs> you know. Yeah, let's go to a commercial break real quick. Comfort Dental. New patient exams are only $19. Schedule an appointment today at comfortdental.com and go Eagles. Tiffany Carroll with the Fletcher team, a Pine Creek High School football mom alumni, is here to help you with all of your buying and selling goals. Just mention PCHS football during your real estate transaction and $1,500 will be donated back to the program in your name. from commercial Pine Creek's gonna go for this on fourth down uh, looks like uh, Mason quick snap he is yeah he's keep going Mason close. come on Mason he's gonna be real close he's gonna be very close I'll tell you what we've seen where that ref is lining up where that with that line judge yeah he might be short found yeah. for Carson thinks he's short Offense, I mean, uh, defense is coming on the field so they are short again I mean you gotta you got a guy yeah, let's see what Mason on the replay. It was there. It was there. If you just stay in that crease, you're there. He, he put his head down and, and, and just try to, you know, bulldoze when you just keep your eyes up and you get in that crease. You had it. You probably could have walked in for a touchdown. So this, this, yeah, this is going to put found in a very tell you what. Uh, yeah. uncomfortable position where you're going to have to throw this ball to get out of this hole or, you know, because Pine Creek's you're playing your run something. Yeah, you're really going to well. do something creative here because they're going to be coming. One back set. And there's a sweep. A little bit of a toss. A little and bit that's of a, a safety. Up. That's a safety. And that's a safety. Yeah, you don't do that. Yep, you don't do that. So this is going <laughs> to... They, 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 they took, uh, gave up one to get two, right? So Yeah, you pitch it to the outside, and you pitch it right at Mason Miller. Not a very – yeah, was look at the he – he didn't have a chance on the – look at the yeah, replay. He's pitching it right I to mean, Mason. I mean, the penetration, Mason, you're going right to your D1. I mean, that's Mason's ex outside, expertise. Outside he's linebacker. He's been doing that since third grade. Third grade. I've seen it, you know. Playing for Little Eagles, you know, back in the days. Uh, little Eagles. <laughs> Don Chapman. Springtime, Don baby. Chapman and his Little Eagles. Hey, for those out there that want to play some real competitive football, come check out the uh, Col uh, the, the War Eagles uh, spring football team. You know, get some reps, learn from some good coaches. Uh, we play really good football. And, uh, you know, and it's, that, that whole spring season has gotten really competitive. Absolutely. Um, There's a lot of people that still talk about it. Lot, like other, other schools talking about it. Oh, yeah. It's, I mean, uh, I yeah. hear the chatter. I hear the chatter. Yeah. All right. So, uh, Fort Carson will have to kick the ball off from their 20 after get it. Yep. They're going to kick it off, and uh, it's going to be returnable. So, Pine Creek can, could, could make something happen for themselves uh, in this situation, but um, not a very effective call from the. Yeah, Pine Creek has, uh, has one. Looks like they have sort of a, sort of a diamond three, three guys deep. That's a good kick. 
got it down there. Yeah, he did. Ball bounced at it's about got a good the bounce. Uh, Let's go. Pick it up. Picked up at about the 15, 16 yard lines. Made the first guy miss. Can uh, budge. Run into the near side sidelines, yep. and he is out of bounds at about the 32, yeah, 33. I think that was a setup to the left, and because Justice didn't even look right, and that guy was kind of coming down. But uh, nice return, nice yeah, kick. Not a, bad, not a bad situation to be in. You know, you uh, Final Four Carson's uh, kick kicker uh, kind of bailed about. Yeah, so. I'll tell you what. If you're the quarterback for Pine Creek, you're not getting any rest tonight. <laughs> no. I mean, I'll tell you what, he's had more snaps in this uh, in this first half than he's probably had in the first four games two of the year. He got two or three games to catch I'll up tell you on. What, so. I don't think he had this many snaps by the time he was a junior. He's not going to complain, I can tell you that. I'll tell you what. <laughs> it's nice. All right, it looks like we got a... Uh, uh, Aiden Vanneman in. Two running some backs. Slot. Got a man in motion from the quarterback's left to his right to the near side. Uh, what do we got? Looks like it was going to be a handoff to Jonathan Core running to the False far start. side. All right. So, in the shout outs, let me uh, let you people let you know we got a couple shout outs. Uh, shout out to Ramon from uh, Grandma. Go, 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 Ramon. Uh, let's see who we got here. P shout out to number 40, Isaac. We love you, Aunt Eve and Uncle Hawk, Ely, Nevada. Pine Creek just got Shout the, uh, the play go came Justice. in from the sideline. Got two wide receivers to the far side. Ball is on the near hash. Two running backs. One running back in dot, one running back in the right side, up the right side tackle. Hand off uh, to Jonathan Kaur, and he's picked yeah. up very, very quickly. Number one, yeah. uh, Jack Fox, inside linebacker. Yeah, we missed just somebody kind there. Of screamed. Yeah. Somebody didn't pick him up. Yeah. Um, nice play. You got a shout out to uh, Fount, uh, for Fountain Fort Carson. Just so, if you're listening out there, Fountain Fort Carson fans, you guys can send in shout outs as well. We'll read them out on air. Um, shout out from uh, uh, Jason Martinez. Do not call. We don't answer calls on the shout outs, just so you know that. <laughs> uh, shout out um, Jason Martinez alongside uh, Trio, Trey Forsett, Corbin, Tonio, a route for Fountain Fort Carson from Mount Mercy, Iowa. Pine Creek Go. in a two by one set. Quarterback's back to throw the ball. Nice. He's going to throw the ball out. It's going to be an out to Cannon Budge That's on nice the far side. Nice little 10 yard pickup. Yeah, it was nice. It uh, looks like it's going to be. Coming back to Line third, of yeah, third, third, and ten. third and ten. And, uh, you know, I, I like that coverage with uh, Fountain Fort Carson where they kind of sit their corners and then they go over the top with their safeties and that allows to take away that route. That's a good cover scheme by Fountain Fort Carson. But neither, you know, either way, they still picked up ten yards. It makes it uh, third and ten. And uh, Two by one set, two to the near side to the uh, to the boundary. Quarterback is back to throw the ball. Ooh, wow. Ooh, nice catch, wow. Elijah. Ooh. Wow. I don't know how he caught that. He, he snagged that out the uh, air. Number six, uh, Malik. You what. Uh, that should have been picked, ladies Number and six, Miles McClarity, who's a. I'll tell you what. Came up with a nice tackle. I'll tell you what. He's he, going to. Yeah. Cam threaded that, that one. That and linebacker just, is going to be talking about that to his grandkids, yeah. about the one he should have had. Yep. And uh, there's a real neat story coming out of Final Four Carson. Uh, Miles McClarity, a uh, kid that had, had battled some health concerns last year and wasn't able to play his senior year. So they allowed him to kind of. Camp Cooper's rolling. Jonathan right, right there. Very nice throw. Get down. Picked there up by go. Cannon Budge. Uh, that's going to be uh, first down. Yeah. Uh, nice adjustment by Cam. He, you know, kept, his, kept the ball. Moving when it uh, looks like the tackle didn't really pick up his block, so uh, Cam kind of kept it alive with his feet. So. I'll tell you what, Cam, uh, Cam Cooper looked looked like a, a big time college quarterback. Yeah, right there. Yeah, that, he, that, he did a nice job there. Was stayed balanced, stayed, kept his kept his eyes downfield. Um, was yep. was under control and then continued Good to panic. Yeah, was able to throw the ball uh, on a line even though he was running. Yeah, this is a. Uh, you know, uh, he's got another year, so he's just going to get no, better and better. Young. Oh, here he is. Here uh, he is. Uh, no, they that, came that up the edge. They, they scouted that they well. Sure did. They knew that was coming. Uh, yeah, they didn't. You got to go max protect in that situation. <laughs> yeah. and they, they, you can't go blind. Let's they, look at yeah, the replay. they went number, max, max minus one. Number 23, Zachary Sanders coming off the edge. Nobody was there. And he and he was, he, he did his job. He, he stayed squared. Made sure that the, the ball was not handed off and uh, 
contain the quarterback. So good job, good coaching over there. Found for Carson, keeping that guy's discipline on the edge. Well, so now we're back into an interesting, very interesting situation. Oh, where we go? Shoot, where that's, we go? Uh, here? 10, 15, 17. Mason Miller's running to the left hand side. Come on, Mason. Go, go, go. All right, he's back to the line of scrimmage. Yep. So. That was a nice kick. Hey. Nice pickup. That was a pickup, what, a 13, 14 yards? Yeah, right. Get him back in a man is, well, third and, third and 11. You know where we're at, Chris. If you're nah, we are at 421 <laughs> in the second quarter. We want another. We want it, We want some more. Uh, this is the Elijah Roy post yes, coming up. So, yes, from we, some could, angle. we could. Let's stretch him out, get him wide on the uh, wide side of the field, and let Elijah work on number yeah, 11. We're looking for icing on this cake, right? And it's about time. Man's there in motion is. from the left side to the right side. Quarterback is back to throw the ball. Yeah, we got a screen. Oh, got a screen. It was there, got too. Got a screen. It was there. What do you go? Uh, you got a field goal kicker that can kick it. Uh, that's going to be about a 50 yarder. Jonathan's got plenty of leg to do that, but uh, your defense is playing yeah. well. Fourth and 11. That's never stopped us yeah. before. Shout out to Caleb Petrie. Four minutes to go in the uh, second quarter. 19 0. We got another shout out. Uh, Aloha from Uncle Randy and Aunt. Angie from Big Island, Hawaii. We're going for it. We're going for it, ladies so proud and gentlemen. Of you, Ramon. Quarterback's in gun, one back set. He's going to be throwing the ball. He's rolling to his right hand side. There it is. Made the first guy miss. There it He's is. He's throwing it deep into the end zone. Has oh. a man. Uh, he had him. He had him on that. Cam just put a little too much on it. But uh, Joe Liss uh, had an opportunity to get that. It's just a little bit out of his reach. Um, Is that one of the list kids? Oh yeah, I, I, I wanted to, to give them a little shout out. I know no one. I know they got plenty of family members. I they saw sure his mom do. and dad earlier said they got a brother in Helsinki Pine that's Creek, watching. Pine Creek football has been in a good situation with the list boys. Matt, uh, Matt down at uh, Baylor from Baylor. Dan is watching. Um, and Thunder Emma. Thunder Dan List. Yeah, and Emma from San Diego, I believe his mom told me. California. Yeah, Helsinki. So I, I can't remember which one it is. Finland. All right, so. Uh, Thunder Dan List. Fort Carson dies the bullet here. And, uh, Fort Carson brings a couple guys in motion. They've got two running backs in the backfield. They've got they're two wide receivers the ball. on That's the far side. Gets his. Uh oh. Looks like they're going to try to get the quarterback. They've had lots of chances. Wow. The quarterback is still on the run. Pass. He's got a first down. Yeah, pick up a first down. He's going to come out just uh, just short of the 50. Yeah. I mean, maybe that's the play you go to. Let's uh, drop back and then. Yeah, let that quarterback make, make decisions make on the fly. Yeah. They kind of had him dead to the right on that. They sure did. They know. had their chances. They, they certainly had their, had their chances. Uh, just kind of, you know, he slipped through. Um, definitely had chances to, to get, get him on that. But looks like Fort Carson is going to try to, you know, expand their horizon and, and try to throw the ball. But. You got Ramon and Justice Nicholson out back yeah, there. Yeah, got a three by one set, one running back in the backfield. So this definitely is a passing set, but we'll see what happens. Kind of spread the uh, spread Pine Creek yeah. out and see what happens. Number seven is their guy, so if, if you know receiver wise, but they're going to quarter, run that quarterback receives a snap and he is on a dead run to the right hand yep. side, sort of a sort of a quarterback sweep to the right hand side, pickup of about four or five yards. Yep. So. You know, they, they maybe they found something that they think they can hang their hat on for a little bit. So I mean, their quarterback does seem to be playing a little bit better now. He's, yeah. he's settled a little bit. And it uh, looks like Ramon's going to be locked up on number seven, Keenan Camel, for um, Fountain Fort Carson. Um, this is, you know, when you get your dude on the wide side of the field and he's barking at the quarterback, he's about to get the ball. <laughs> you got two by two set, balls on the far hash. This is going to be a post, number seven. They're going to One running to go back, to it. quarterback there is going to throw is. the ball. Number nine is back to throw the ball. He's throwing on the left-hand side. He's got a post. Nice play. Uh, right down the middle of the field, a little seam down the middle of the field, and the ball just, ball wasn't thrown great. And uh, let's look, if we got that on replay, I think L came and knocked it out at the last second. It did. It looked like it, the ball was a little bit uh, too much air. He got a little double, nice little route. Yep, L kind of came in there. Yep, came and knocked it out of his hand. That's good coverage. You want to stay on top of that if you're uh, the safety, but, you know, if you got to recover like that. Now, yeah. uh, they got number five out here in space. Yeah, another uh, three by one set. This is, one running back. 
This is when you're looking at trying to get a bubble or trying to go a post or a, a go route on when the top of the screen. When you come out a three-by-one set, why would you spread your wide receivers like that? Yeah. That's, that's, that makes it easier on the defense. Inside handoff. Yeah, they're just trying to pick up first yeah, down. Yeah, they're just trying to, I don't know. You, they see something. They're spreading people out. Yep. But why would you bring your guys out and spread them out like that and make it easier on the corners yeah. and the safeties? <laughs> I mean, it's going to take three seconds oh, before they're fourth. Oh. It's going to take three seconds till they're past the line of scrimmage. <laughs> Did they not go to coaching camp at, at, at the I'll Don Chadman Glazer. coaching clinic? You got to go to the Glazer coaching camp. You got to go to the Don, the, the Don Chadman coaching clinic. Get under center. Get behind your dudes. Yeah. Because Pine Creek's about back. to pit it back right now. Oh, I don't know. One, two, three, four. They're, they're all right. You're going to call a timeout. Problem is, you just eliminated that guy from eligibility. They, what, they were never calling. See what the they point. did? You yeah. see what they did there? They covered him up. So <laughs> yeah, they covered they covered up 87, so he wasn't eligible. Yep. Yeah. Don't do that. Everybody knows that. Let's go to commercial break. We'll Senior broker Vaughn Luttrell and son Pine Creek High School inside linebacker coach Justice Luttrell are mortgage brokers with Fidelity Mortgage Solutions, located here in Colorado Springs. Stick with the home team and reach out for any and all refinance or purchase needs. Phones are always open and on for our Pine Creek family. Go Eagles! In memory of Carson Kaplan's grandpa, Bert Ewer, the number one Pine Creek football fan in Indiana. Oh, we're back. It's fourth and inches, and Fort Carson's going for it. Yeah, Pine Creek's about to pin him back. Two it's back. Two back set. They got one guy in dot. They got a fullback in there too. They got what that little number nineteen yep. in there. They're they're going uh, right behind forty five. That's their spread out that outside blocking. linebacker and the quarterback. He's gonna, gonna pick it up. It. Oh, I'll tell you, he wow. got it. He's uh, short. No, oh, he got it. It's first down. I think he did get it. Yeah. I'll tell you what. They did a nice job. Defense did a nice job on yep. that. Let's take a look at it. He went over the top of Matthew Jerry. But yeah, but he picked up a yard. Picked he, up that he, yard. He did what he needed to do. Yep. Because they know everyone's key at number five. Absolutely. Uh, the big running back. And yeah, I'll tell you what. It was close. Five, number if he could have stopped him from jumping, he would have He would have stopped him. But uh, quarterback, uh, Keats Caleb. Is that how I pronounce that? Keats? Keith? Keats? Let me see. Kate. Yeah. Matthew Jerry got in there on a great, great penetration. But uh, it was. Yeah, Keats. Yeah, just enough cool to get the first down. I like that name. All right, another three by one set. Coming out, look like they're going to throw the ball, and they're going to throw the ball. Oh, oh they're oh, the going to call pass interference on that. Come on. Ah, I'm never going to call pass interference. <laughs> Boy, Coach Boo Boo, if you listen out there, let me know your to, thoughts. Trying to go to the boundary, I'll tell you what. They're trying that. I don't know. They're pushing. They're playing with someone else's money there. Oh, that's bang, bang, man. I'd like to hear from the defensive guru, Coach Boom Boom, out there. Give me your thoughts on that play. I say it was a clean defensive play. Yep. Uh, it's going to be 15 on that. Pass interference. And, uh, you know, Tom Fort Carson hasn't really sustained the drive without penalties. You know, um, Pine Creek. No, I mean, I mean, found for Carson. I was expecting some, some amazing offensive things. I mean, Highland Ranch. They put 65 on Highland Ranch. Found for Carson gets the snap, fakes the, uh, fakes the handoff, yeah. hold it, a little bit of an RPO. Quarterback kept it, uh, gain of a gain of a couple. And you know, Coach Wibbles is going to count now. You know, probably hadn't accounted for the quarterback much. Uh, now he's going to probably go in at halftime if they can keep them out of the end zone. Um, and and make some adjustments, neutralize that quarterback, and make them go to what they do. So what we're familiar with them doing. So uh, they got that number 32 in the backfield. They yeah swing him out to the left hand side. That's what they do with him. Get him on the get him on the edge. Yep. That's a lot of running for. That's why he's got 12 and a half yards for of carry. three for yes. three for three yards. That's a lot of running. It's like a young Don Chapman, man. Yeah. I'll tell you what, <laughs> running all over the place. You know? 
All right, so this can bring up third and about what three or four, Chris? Yeah, and we're uh, they're God, they're in a good situation. I don't know if they have a field goal kicker, but they're uh, you know they're. And on a 20, 24 yard line. They got their little, their They're little. Good, so still, got a, back. still got a minute left. Minute uh, left. Going heavy. They got two running backs. Got a man in motion. They're going to hand off, and that's going to get picked that's up gonna very quickly. And they're going to lose yards. By uh, Isaac Landry and uh, Jared Abara on there on the tackle. That's going to bring up fourth down and four. What are you going to do? You try to yeah. get some points. And they don't have any timeouts, so the clock is running. Yeah. I mean. I don't see anybody warming up, so yeah, obviously I, there's not a kicker in the house over at Fountain Fort Carson. Unless, unless he's got sort of a Don Chapman special up his sleeve. You know, um, the, the Philly special right he's here. Gonna come <laughs> out with, he's going to come out with something we never – I'll tell you what, my first year coaching at Pine Creek, They're we, not gonna get this we got beat on the last play of the game They're in a not JV gonna get game this playoff. on the hook and ladder. And uh, I still will never remember – I'll never forget that. They don't – oh, did they have timeout left? Well, then why did they let 50 seconds run off the clock? <laughs> Yeah. All right, we'll take a commercial break. We'll be right back. SISM Physical Therapy is Pine Creek's athletics physical therapy partner. Located conveniently across the street from Pine Creek High School, SISM PT is dedicated to our community, our athletes, and our families. Come meet their caring and knowledgeable providers, two of which are Pine Creek graduates. Go Eagles! Keys and Lauer Architects. 35 years of commercial design excellence on the front range of Colorado. Our proud sponsors of the Pine Creek Eagles. Looks like there is a field goal kicker, and they're going to give it a shot. About a, about a 40 yarder. And that is good. Uh, wow. That is good. Well done. Number 34, Myron Johnson uh, with the field goal. Uh, a kid I know, I know Myron. Uh, of course, you know. From him. back in the day. Uh, Good football player. Is that right? I didn't know he was a kicker, though. So <laughs> it's, like, hey, it's like, what did you teach him? He just put a 40-yarder up. Got, I'll tell you got, what. You know, it got found for Carson on the board. I mean, now it's a yeah, 19 I mean, I think they gotta, Yeah, they got to be happy with that. And, um, and, and they, they stalled Pine Creek out a couple times when Pine Creek probably should have scored. I don't know if you can continue to live on that in the second half. Um, I'll tell you what I'm living on is Jonathan Kaur. That's that what I'm living ball. on. All right, we got a couple as we uh, four, Final Four Carson kicks off to Pine Creek after a field goal. Um, shout out from Fountain Fort Carson from a 970 number. Don't have anything else on that. Shout out to granddaughter Peyton and our Eagles cheering from Papa and Gigi. Hmm. And great grandma Marcy. Kick is away. That is a good kick. He he can kick it. Wow. Kicked it. Yeah, it looked like that was a field goal. Uh, that was a great kick by uh, number 34. Myron, uh, didn't know you had it in you, young man. I'll tell you what. Hey, that's I'll impressive. You, you got to invite him over for more <laughs> cookies and uh, cookies and whatever you make over there. Uh, let's see if Pine Creek's going to be content to go in uh, with the 19-3 lead. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Uh, with 14 seconds. I mean, yeah, you just kind of get seconds, in. Yeah. Let's wrap it up. Wrap it up. Get in there. and uh, I don't think we're going to learn anything here. No. Too many things can go wrong. Yeah. Especially down here. But uh, they're lining up. Like they are. They're still it. in gun. Still in gun. Two back set. Hand off to Jonathan Core. Run into the right-hand side. Made the first guy miss. Nice move. The, the very, very nice off. jump cut. They're going to let the clock run out. Tell you yeah. what. I, God, he's, he's tough. He's tough. He's had a great first half. First half. So uh, that's going to conclude the half. It's going to be 19 to 3, Pine Creek. Um, for the most part, Chris, I mean, that first first half was pretty clean. A couple pass interference that, that were questionable at best. But uh, Pine Creek 
had some opportunities to be up probably about yeah, 35 I, to zero right second now. Second quarter wasn't what I wanted it to be. No. Second quarter, we kind of, uh, we either did it to ourselves or we just weren't able to capitalize on uh, some opportunities there. First quarter, God, I'll tell you what, it got, it got started early and often, and that was really what we needed to be. But, man, um, you know, the second quarter wasn't what we wanted, but let's let's hope that the uh, – Third quarter, well, third quarter, we're going. We did. They defer. They deferred. So we're kicking off to uh, to Fountain Fort Carson in the uh, in the third. Okay, I'm gonna make a correction on the field goal kicker. That was not Meyer. No, it's Cade Smith. Did uh, you coach him too? Don? No, I don't know that kid. I, th I thought Byron was 34, but. Uh, my bad. Uh, so I, I would have guessed. Cade, if you're, I would have uh, guessed he's attributing all of his right. kicking accolades to his friend Don Chapman. Cade Smith, outside linebacker, 5'10", 195, and kicker. So yeah, he was a good sized kid. Yeah. 195. I'll tell you what. Built just like Myron, so that's kind of why I thought it was Myron. Oh, there you um, go. Yeah. So we, we are uh, going to go into halftime um, with with. Uh, both teams going in and make some adjustments, and um, this is going to tell the, the, the tell of the second half is what adjustments are made. Is Pine Creek going to be able to, you know, counter the things that Fountain Fort Carson has adjusted to, and is has Fountain Fort Carson found anything that they can hang their hat on? Looks like they were trying to get behind the quarterback. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I I, I was uh, I think they just got better and better. It wasn't like substantially better, but uh, it was a, definitely a lot better at the end of the second quarter than it was at the end of the first quarter. Uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see we'll see what Coach Wibbles learned uh, yeah. from the first from the first half and uh, see if they're able to make some corrections while at the same time continue to be efficient on offense. Yep. So, with that being said, we're gonna go to a break at half and uh, we'll be back shortly. here playing here in a minute. We we're just kind of finishing up with the cheerleaders and uh, we're gonna let the guys take a quick break, but we will keep the mics out there so you can hear the band. And they've been fantastic this year. We appreciate uh, all they're doing.
We would also like to thank our other sponsors for this evening, Mark Jones Homes, Kintera Team, Heron Electric, and Melissa Allen with Caldwell Banker. Hey, this is Greg from the Pine Creek Football Network, and this is a brand new YouTube channel that we are going to live stream all of the Varsity Pine Creek football games in 2023. During the live stream, replay, sponsorships, it's going to be well developed and uh, we also have a lot of opportunities for you to join this positions for camera operations, for stats, for production. If you are interested in broadcasting in any way, please get a hold of us and you can see that on the screen, but it's Pine Creek Football Network at gmail.com. We are interested also in having content creation. So if you have the ability to create some videos at practice with what the cheerleaders are doing, whatever you can think of that would be appropriate to, to put on our YouTube page or to feature during one of our broadcasts. You guys need to watch the Pine Creek Football Network. Energy Advantage Roofing and Solar, we're more than just a roofing and solar company. We're a proud supporter of our community. We're thrilled to be partnering with Pine Creek High School right here in the heart of Colorado Springs. Right now, we're offering free solar consultations and free roof inspections. We're committed to delivering top-notch services to elevate your home and contribute to a sustainable future. Join us in supporting Pine Creek High School. Let's make a brighter future together. Hey there, class of 2024. Susan Schiller Photography is proud to sponsor Pine Creek High School. One of the biggest parts of senior year is doing your senior portraits. This is your opportunity to shine and show the world who you are. We pour our hearts into your experience and make sure that it's the best out there. Your session will be authentic, creative, and timeless. We specialize in senior portraits and we can't wait to help you make some amazing memories. We're back for the second half kickoff. Pine Creek will kick off to Fountain Fort Carson. 
kick is away. Another good kick, but yep. it looks like it's going to go to the end zone. Another touchback. You know what I'm interested in, Don, is I'm interested in the uh, next two games. Yeah. That's for, uh, for, not, not that I'm not interested in the rest of this one, but uh, we've got to go to Regis, and we've got to go to Legend. Yeah, that's the gauntlet, man. That's, that's the gauntlet. Yeah. I agree. That's uh, those are that's two tough weeks. And uh, you know, in Pine Creek, they've cleaned up a lot of things. You know, I would say this has been a much cleaner game, but. Yeah, well, I'm looking there, forward to that. Yeah, points on the, that's been left on the I'm table. Ho I'm hoping the second half is even cleaner. I mean, yeah, just, yeah I'm ready for a, a really clean yeah. half. That would be nice. Yeah, we w there's there's probably at least two more touchdowns that should be on the board that's not there. Um, heavy so running set. Heavy uh, running set. Quarterback is in gun. It's a handoff, and that is not Eaten going nowhere. I'll tell you what, that's a loss of three. My Matthew Jerry, a.k.a. Ralphie. Ralph, Ralphie. the mouth. Let's look at the replay. He just got in there unabated. Not even blocked. Just Man. met him in the backfield at the exchange. Yeah. He's going to. Somebody at Found Fort Carson, uh, he's going to probably yeah. have o -line, someone, some O-line coach going to have O-line coach going to have a field yeah, day on Monday and film on that I'll one. tell you what, I don't even know if he's going to make it to the fourth quarter. <laughs> That'd be a tough one to swallow. But, uh. Looks Let's like see, a little bit more of a little, passing little set. Empty. Let's yeah. go on empty. See what they're gonna do. Got a man uh, in motion from the left side. He's gonna, he's gonna hand the ball off. He's gonna run around, ah. and that is that running back that we've heard so much about, and that's gonna be a first down. Yep. Running around to the right hand side. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, go, let's get to the edge. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of use your speed. Use your speed. You got a big guy, and that was successful for them last year. Um, so why not go back to it? Oh, I completely agree, and that doesn't put us put them in the situation where they're actually yeah. having to play one on one football, which yep. they're obviously getting out gunned on. And that's up you know inside. they're going to try to uh, outflank them with some guys, and that's what they're doing right now, and and, and try to spring number five, uh, Matthias. Two Price. running backs set. Looks like quarterback. That's a little play action, a little RPO situation. Yep. But that just, I'll tell you what, they just uh, those Pine Creek kids. They were coming. Jared Abara and Isaac Landry and uh, again on the tackle. On I mean, that. They've had a great. They've had a great season so yeah. far. Yeah. They really have. Two young guys, sophomore and a junior. Yeah, youngsters. Yeah, the Ibarra kid. I mean, every every week he comes in with, you know, six tackles for loss. <laughs> Him and Caleb Petrie, both I'll tell you what, two sophomores impressive. starting that middle linebacker. You got a junior at safety. You got a sophomore at safety. The only two seniors out there, the seniors are Mason Miller, Ramon Pacheco. Two by two set. One running back in the backfield. Quarterback is on the run, running to the far side. He's going to throw it as far as he can. Oh, nice cover. He's going to overthrow the Fountain Fort Carson receiver. Ball lands dead at about the. Uh, 27 yard line. Yeah, Justice Nicholson on the, on the coverage. You're not going to shake him. That dude's been playing corner for a long time at Pine Creek and uh, he he stayed with his man. You know, even though the play broke down, Chris, the, he stayed with his oh, man. Oh, did that's a great what job. You, yeah, you want your DBs to that's do right. that. That's, that's great coaching, great discipline. Yeah, nice uh Found four Carson comes out. It looks like a passing set. Yeah, I think three by one set. Play action. Going to quick tunnel pass, screen. little tunnel screen to the right hand nice side. Nice play by Ramon. Ramon, great one wow. on one tackle. Great one on one tackle. That's just a tackle in space, and that's just one on one. That's how you fight through it as a that's DB. Right. Keep your bearings and then locate the ball and make the tackle. Because that had the makings of being a big play for Final And that's what Carson. you got to do. You got to be able to be. You got to be in those one-on-one -on -one situations. You got to be successful. Yeah. Uh, not my guy. Um, yeah. We used to talk talk about it all the time at the wide receiver level. But at the same time, uh, you got to understand that it's it's all on you. You know, and that's the thing. Oh, it, oh, oh. A bad snap. Bad snap. Snap. Did bounce. Uh oh. Punter is going to run now. Punter is going to run now. And he's going to pick up the first down. Pick up, he's going to pick up the on first down. On a broken down. play. Come on, Pine Creek. Come on. We got to be a little uh, more aware. That was slow. It was ball slow. Snap, the ball freaking hit the ground. Come on, Pine Creek. Look at the replay. The that was ground. not designed. Guys are gone. Tell you what. I don't know. Somebody's going to get it talking to. Yep. Special teams. 
Yeah. That's that uh, cool. the, the third facet of the game yeah, that you exactly. got to be. You got to be strong all the way. I mean, that's another play that you were just talking about, Don, that you got to be successful. I mean, yeah, maybe found for Carson isn't the game, but Legend is going to be that game. Um, Regis is going to be that game. You can't have those mistakes. There's a jet sweep. Oh, he's going he's gonna to throw it. Uh oh, that's, oh a pick. that's a pick. Wow! That's a that pick. That was uh, Mari Cow on an incredible third pick of the season. That Amari is his Cow. third pick of the season. That's wow. a nice job. I'll tell that, you what, that was a great job. You don't play it any better than that. No, Mari did a great job. That's, that's I'll a tell you sophomore what. back I know, there. yep. Yeah, uh, his dad's sitting on right over here to our right hand side, yeah. him and his brother, <laughs> Eddie Kyle. Yeah, wow, let's well look at the done. replay. But Mari just played that like a, a true safety, free safety. Got a little bit. They got a little bit of his brother in him. Yeah, Eddie was a uh, Eddie's an all-timer here. Eddie Cowell That's and Amari. Right. Amari's making a name for himself. It, uh, well, especially he's not, uh, as young as he is, he's already what, what three interceptions this yeah. year. Yeah, he's not uh, Eddie's little brother anymore. That's <laughs> Amari Cowell. <laughs> well, he was little <laughs> back in the day. Cam to hands to off corner. Jonathan Kors running to the right hand side. He's already he's on the he's on a horse. He's coming down, and that's going to be a first down, Pine Creek. We, we, you can do that all day. You got yeah, that that's all a, day. That's a 15, 16 yard pickup. You know? Yeah, I haven't seen him stop for anything less than 12 yards all night. He's he's getting he's getting chunk yards. Give him the ball. He is getting it done. Um, and Johnny's getting better and better every game. I, mean, I just yeah, seen that guy what, mature absolutely. into a, 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 a legitimate caliber running back. Pine Creek's got a couple changes late in the uh, play script here. Got a running back coming to the left-hand side. Looks like he's going to fake it to there Jonathan he goes Ford. again. He's coming to the right-hand side. He's going to make a couple moves, and it looks like it, we're going to be close to a first down. First down. Right. Tell you what, geez, making it look easy. <laughs> Johnny's that dude right now. I guess so. You, you want to put him on, you know what? Give him a break. Get him back out there. So, quick shout out while we're uh, waiting. Uh, I, I know I've missed a couple of them here in a minute. Pine Creek comes out. We have eight minutes and 20 seconds to go. Shout out to Kai Getz. Third quarter, but a little bit of a from Tennessee officials timeout. Shout out! Shout out to Malachi Harkley. Ball is reset. Go Two get back it, set. my man. Handoff to the inside, handoff, he's jumping. That was Mason Miller bumping yep. to the left-hand side. That's and that's going to be a short game. Looks like it might be enough for a first down, though. Yeah, we got a penalty on the edge. Looks like a false start. They just indicate it. Uh, shout out to... Looks like the receiver jumped out there. All right. Good. So that's going to bring the uh, ball back, make it about second and seven. Um, Mason Miller in at tailback. Why we got wide receivers jumping off sides, Don? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Smoking by a true I mean, wide receiver I, coach. I, I played wide receiver <laughs> and I coached wide receiver, and I've never, I've never had a jump off side, ever. Here, here we go. Let's here we see go. if we can get set. Elijah. See if we, we can get Elijah. We got two wide receivers to the left-hand side. Quarterback is back to pass. He's looking for a man coming across inside. Oh, he caught it, and then he gave it up. I don't think that's going to be a fumble. They're going to, oh. call, they're going to call a penalty on that. That's going to be a penalty. Let's take a look at that. He kind of came in head first on that. It was a nice catch by Elijah, too. Yeah, there's a lot of mustard on the lettuce right now. Yep. He's fine. He got out. up pretty quick, so yeah, expect to good. see him back. Absolutely. Elijah's a tough kid. He's going to bounce back on that. But uh, <clears throat> that's, you know, the, 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 the Fountain Four Carson faithful don't like that call. But, hey, we get that against us at least once a game, it seems like. Something. But um, Pine Creek's going to keep the ball. I don't know if Elijah's even going to come out. Yeah, I don't think he is. <laughs> He's like, I'm good. Yeah, so, he is. Twelve's coming this way. He Talk looks fine. Coach. Yeah, he does. He looks like he's okay. Did they wave off the flag? Um, they are coming. The players are walking back the other direction, unfortunately. The Fountain Fort Carson no, players I think are. They, I thought I saw them wave it off. Do they? I thought. i tell you what. Um, oh, no, they didn't. He called it. Personal foul. Yep, sure did.
I mean, I was watching that. I mean, it looked like a, I don't know. We still have that on replay, Greg. Take another look at that. Yeah, that's coming back. Let's see if we can take a look at it. Pine Creek's going to be in a good situation right here. They're going to have the ball. At the, oh, he lunged like. at him. Yeah, that's what it was. He lunged at him. It's going to be first and 10 at the 36-yard line. Yep. 7.47 to go in the third quarter. Pine Creek's coming out, and it looks like a heavy running set. Two wide receivers to the near side. I think Isaac Landry has won the award for the most aunts and uncles on the right? outs. He's got a good whole bunch of them. Cannon Budge is in motion from the right side to the left side. It looks a handoff to Jonathan Core. I'll tell you what, it makes the first guy miss, makes the second guy miss. He's bouncing to the left-hand side. Oh, now he's go. bouncing to the to the far hash, and he just gets brought down. What kind of flag after we got another 15-20 yard carry? You, uh, they got holding on there. He just indicated. I mean, it's almost like you can't block as a receiver anymore in, in high school football. You know, just because a, a guy gets blocked doesn't yeah. mean he got held. Just, Exactly. You know, it's it's so frustrating at this at this level that it is hard. You know, it's, it's receivers very hard. can't be physical, right? If they are, then it's a hold. That's right. Even though they're just they got to be a hold. Yeah. Well, that's you know you got to. I know who knows what they, who knows what they're teaching over there. Yeah. I, I know what I used to teach Pete, but belt buckle to belt buckle, man. You got to be. The, you can't have gra green grass in between the two of you. You yep. got to be right up there. You get up be, on them. Got you got to be get up on them. No, take a shot. Let, let Elijah run a fade route. Put it yeah, we're kind of due for a fade right here, or a post. Fade would be good. Defensive back. That's a handoff to Mason Miller inside. Makes the first guy miss. Nice, nice carry. Nice carry. Nice gain. Gain of about five or six. Yep. Shout out to uh, Wyatt, Wyatt Peterson, number 25, our grandson from his grandparents, and phone that went out on me in Sholo, Arizona. What was the name of that running back that we had named Peterson? What was his Spencer. name? Spencer. Spencer. Spencer Peterson. Spencer. I had him when he was a freshman. I know you did. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you gave him to me. <laughs> <laughs> Hand off uh, to Mason Miller again. Put He's bouncing to the right-hand side. Away. Yeah, put it away, Mason. Put two hands, away. two hands, two hands, Mason. Put the ball away. <laughs> yeah, he is. We got uh, third and short. All third right. and short for uh, Pine Creek coming up. Yeah, let's six look at and a half to go in the third and, quarter. And this is what Mason's that good at, just kind of just moving the pile. I'd like to see two hands on the ball because, you know, you got two different players ripping at the ball. I know you can bench a lot, but let's put two hands on the ball. He's fussing at somebody. Coach <laughs> Coach Wibbles just grabbed him and pulled him off the, off the field. Who knows what's going on? Yeah. Sure, there's a story. No, there always is. Two, two <laughs> running backs in the backfield. It's going to be a handoff to Jonathan Corey. He's bouncing to the left-hand side to the far hash. He's making a move up the uh, up the side. Oh, give him the touchdown. Give him that touchdown. That man was in I there. don't think they're going to give it to they're him. They're not. <laughs> they are not going to give it to him. Wow. Let's take a look at that. It looks like he fell in the end zone on the I'll replay. I'll tell you what. Okay, so who are you betting on? I mean, you're you're playing you're playing with you're playing with. Oh, that's a touchdown! That's a touchdown! <laughs> you're playing with Don Chapman money. I'm going Jonathan Cor. I'm going Jonathan hey, Cor. Come Johnny, on, man! John, hey, come on, yeah. Johnny earned this touchdown. He better get this ball. Yeah, yeah they better give it to him. Come on. I mean, he's I mean, that's he's just numbers. He's putting the team on his. He back. sure is. I mean, the, just the entire offensive set. Yeah, there he is. He's getting it. There it is. Touchdown, and Johnny Cor. Touch I'll tell you what. That yeah, better be a touchdown. That's different than there the old. Go. That's the different from the Final Four Carson I remember seeing. Yeah. You remember some of those linemen they had back in the day? <laughs> 268, 265. Yeah. No, I remember nose tackle. 66, six, six, 300. Like, th it's 68, 300 oh nose tackle. Gosh. No, Kid moved in for one year, and, yep. you know, that's the thing they, yep. at Fort Carson. They get those. Yep. Those, 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 those kids players. coming in that are part of the, uh, part of the Army. Yep. So. Uh, that's going to make it 25 to three. Pine Creek with five minutes and 25 seconds left in the third quarter. That's a great. That's a great drive for Pine Creek. That was a Don. good drive. That was a great drive. Had a penalty that kind of kept it alive, but hey, Fort Carson has lived on penalty drives. Mr. Core still that's out a there. Nice kicking extra point by number 11. And that extra point is good. 26 to three, ladies and gentlemen. 5:25 to go in the third quarter. Uh, and Pine Creek will be kicking the ball off to Fountain Fort Carson in the third quarter. Yep. All right. So that was, uh, like, like we said, uh, a good drive from Pine Creek. Now they got to come out and 
impose their will right. on this and, and get yeah, shut four cars in, shut, shut this down. down, and then score a couple more times, you know. But um, Fountain Fort Carson is a proud program. I see they, you know, they're not going to go down easy. And, and they, no, they're no. capable of making a big play at any time. They sure are. So they, they definitely have guys. They haven't had a chance to really probably show it. But every once in a while, you see a kiddo get to the edge yeah. or something like that. And you're like, hmm, don't let that happen again. Yeah. Quick shout out for Ramon Pacheco from the family, uh, the Sandoval family in Glenwood Springs. Go Pine Creek. I'd like to go back to that was an interception by a sophomore that turned Yeah, and uh, you know, one of those situations where Amari Cow made a big play, and you you can thank him for the the, the yep. six points that we got out of that, the seven points we got out Jonathan of that. Jonathan Core is ready to kick off. Found for Carson has two people deep, and that's going to be that the kickoff back of that. is going to go through the end zone. Yep, it'll be first and ten. Found for Carson on the far hash on the twenty yard line. I mean, you look at Pine Creek's defense, man, because I know these kids. I mean, you got uh, two, two D linemen that are seniors. So you'll lose those guys. Two linebackers that are seniors. Yeah. Everybody else is underclassmen. So both outside linebackers are seniors? Yep. So both Mason, inside linebackers are sophomores? Yeah. Mason and uh, Layton are seniors, and Ramon and um, Justin is a corner. So... Yeah. All, the All the outside guys. Three wide receiver set. They're going to throw the ball a little short, little, little out route. It's going to be complete, and that is going to be a first down. So and I'll tell you what, that's what they need to do. They do. Get they the ball out. Get it out. Get they got, it out. Yeah, they got, we don't need the quarterback scanning and going, in, <laughs> going on his check Go ahead and getting his reads in. You know, you know, just throw it to a playmaker. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, we're back to fourth grade football now. I mean, come on. Here's the thing about that. You know, once you, once you as a defense here coordinator f know that that's all your play is, look, you got big 87 out here to block. It's yeah. a bubble screen. There's no secret. Uh, yeah, look, I'm sorry, but you got numbers over here. Throw, yes, yeah, see? They've got numbers. They didn't call it. No. I don't know. Pine Creek is outnumbered in that situation. It's three on two. Why did we not have – I know that's a wide three – and, and, and that's an obvious play. You got big number 80 out there. He's not catching the bubble. No. He's not running the post. No. He, He's just that, out there to block. That's exactly right. And they got numbers. They've got those blocking numbers. And now that's that's, now that's you, another first down. Now you, now you slide your linebackers. You sting your linebackers. And then, you know, get Mason out there as, as some support. Yep. Yeah, we're going to have to do something there. All right. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Comfort Dental. New patient exams are only $19. Schedule an appointment today at comfortdental.com and go Eagles. You go like this and now I'm going to throw it over the top. Now I'm going to go special. All right, we're back. Uh, uh, Fountain Fort Carson's found a little momentum and, um, you know, Look, at they got number seven, Keenan Campbell, isolated. And Bringing a man in motion, and there they go. They're going to the white side. Uh, nice that's play. not going to be maybe a gain of three. Maybe. Yeah, I just I thought that's that kiddo that's got 12 and a half yards of carry. I thought he was going to be a little more electric, little, huh? A little more electric. Is that what you call it? <laughs> that's what I call it. Back, yeah, in, the day, in, back in the day, we called him fast. <laughs> yeah. That guy, he just didn't look fast. He could scoot, but. Uh, yeah. I mean, they're trying to they're trying to attack that edge, and I think they know that the, you know there's not a lot of uh, open business in the middle of the field. That's so let's exactly get to the right. edge. Yep. Let's get to the edge. Boy, I'd, if I if I were that wide receiver on this near side, I'd be even out there wider. There they go. All right, get it out quick. Okay, now they're moving. Another gain of four. Yeah, number number sixty out there. Their big tackle has been a little animated the last couple. Little tunnel screen to the right yeah. hand side, but I like what they're doing. You know, uh, pitch yeah. and catch. You know, letting, but, that, letting that quarterback uh, make decisions. And I don't know if they let the wide receivers actually call the routes, but some, yeah. some teams do. But at the same time, uh, it's just got to be. It's not a read. It's not a read check down type situation. Might be RPO, but at the same time, and especially with that running back they've got. Um, yeah, it, but it's, might it's, be able to hold those linebackers. It's still third and seven, six right, maybe. Right. Uh, yeah. Pine, it's Pine Creek advantage. Yeah. Here we go. Two back set. Looks like it's going to be a run. Quarterback is going to run to the left-hand side. He's going to he's 
looking for people downfield, and he goes. He's going to be close he's to the be first. No, he's going to be short. No, they just marked him short. Did they? He about two yards, two yards short. So fourth down. Fourth down. Yeah, you're right. Fourth and two. Got a shout out from Kaya. I think uh, it says two foul car start foul Carson from Kaya pronounced. Uh, to Matthew Nubian, we love you and keep playing hard. You think they're going to fake this one again, Don? I would. Do you think we're going to be you ready for it? You got two big linemen out you there. Think, he ain't been out be there this it? whole time. He's a, he's a lead block. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, go. Uh oh, uh oh. Snap the ball over the uh, punter's head. The punter and runs back a and play. just yeah, and just punted at 60 yards. Oh, it was out of bounds. And, and it hit coffin corner. I'll tell you what, you couldn't do. The only person I know that could do that is Don Chapman. <laughs> Dude, he snapped the ball 34. over his head. He runs full speed to his left hand side, kicks the ball with his left foot, <laughs> coffin corner to the end zone on the three yard line. Wow. You couldn't draw that play up if there's you only, wanted There's to. only one person that can do that on this planet. Yeah. I did it back in, uh, uh, what was it, about 92, playing flag football. I don't know if it was 92. Yeah, it, it was might 92. Have been 82. It was 92. It might have been 82. It was down at Memorial Park. I don't know. I'm going to have to talk to Angie. I Angie, pulled a hammy. Angie, I, and, nah, yeah, I yeah. pulled a hammy after that. Yeah, but we're going to have to talk. We're going to have to get the truth police going. <laughs> Pulled a hammy. You didn't even have you know, a hammy. You know, I pulled a hammy on that one, but uh, you know, it was, it was last last of my flag football days. Oh, was that flag football? <laughs> flag football. All right, Pine Creek, Pine <laughs> Creek. All right, let's go. Hey, let's go. What, 97 90, yard. Let's go. Let's, let's see what we can do here. I I'll mean, I'll tell you what, Elijah Roy, their safety is kind of coming up. Yeah, it wouldn't take, be too much to get around him. I mean, and I think it, 11, 11. I don't know if he's going to be ready for this. Chris, do you do it? I think you do. You do it. I do too, man. You, hey. You know what? They're going to pin him back, and if you can get a play action real quick and Let's get Elijah go. to step on him. Elijah's do. Yeah. 11's been following him, and he's done a pretty good job. But, you know, a couple passes here that uh, Cam could have connected on. Uh, Elijah would be looking at, you know, 150 yards receiving. And... Uh, Let's see what we got Yeah, here. a little balance set, two running backs, two split ends. Number 23 is going to come off the edge hard. Yep, safety came up too. Yeah, here he comes, Jonathan Cork, bouncing to the right-hand side. Another nice gain, probably gain, might be close to a first down. Yeah, got him out of a hole, gave him a little bit of breathing room. That's right. That's great when you got a guy that can just do that for you, and then you got a receiver that can stretch the field. Now you got the field over there on the left-hand side, you got, Don. Uh, you got if I know Don Chapman, he is he's getting ready to do some I'm fishing. I'm going trips at the top of the screen. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to ISO number 11. I'm going to see if number 11 is really that good to be the, okay. the, the, the lockdown corner on the yeah, line. It doesn't seem like it. You know, um, let's, see, let's see if he can do it. But I see they cheating the safety over, so. Yeah. But, Johnny is just gashing him. Yeah, those inside linebackers for Found Fort Carson, they, they just don't. That, that, those aren't the traditional inside linebackers from no, Found Fort Carson. They've usually had some guys. I mean, that, they, they had dudes. Dudes, you know. I, I remember one, Davis, that went to CSU. That yes, kid that's was the a, kid I'm yeah, talking about. That kid was a ball. I mean, I'm ball. sorry. Even, even his picture in the Gazette still struck a chord of fear in me. I mean, that guy, you were like, what is about to happen? You're like, how do they get kids like that, man? Yeah, I mean, he spent, he spent a couple of minutes in the weight room. Yeah. That's when you get him on the play action. Pine Creek has the same situation. Uh, Johnny Cor, oh, that's Mason Miller. And he, it's a nice game. Nice game, little game. game five or six yep. on first down. You know, just give it a, a little a change of pace, a little thunder, a little yep. lightning here. A thunder, thunder a little lightning. Yeah, yeah. Now you go back to the Lightning. Let Johnny gas him for one. You got an injured Fort Carson player. It looks like, I can't read the number, but he looks like he's in quite a bit of pain. We'll take a quick commercial break. break. We'll be right back. Joey Hansen at Group Mortgage is your local lender with genuine service at competitive interest rates. Visit joeyhansen.com to contact her and go Eagles. Comfort Dental. New patient exams are only $19. Schedule an appointment today at comfortdental.com and go Eagles.
Tiffany Carroll with the Fletcher team, a Pine Creek High School football mom alumni, is here to help you with all of your buying and selling goals. Just mention PCHS football during your real estate transaction and $1,500 will be donated back to the program in your name. Looks like Andrew player number 40 has walked out the field. Looks like he'll be okay. Snap is back. It's an inside handoff to Mason Miller. Um, he's he's pounding first. through. It looks like he's going to pick up a first down. Tell you what, Mason is making, he's cashing checks and snapping next tonight. Yeah, it looks like he had a first, but they're going to say he's short. It's going to be third and one. He's got a little hobble. Yep. Mason uh, took a little singer. Stinger took a there. Some, uh, probably in the shed. Jonathan Core is now back in on coming in with the quarterback. Balancing things back out. Yeah, there's just like Mason walking Cam's off. getting the set. Yeah, Mason will walk it off. He'll walk it off. Cam's getting the uh, the play from the sidelines. Yeah. Balancing everything out. Looks like uh, looks like a running set. Two running backs in the backfield. Ball's on the far hash. Inside handoff, Johnny Core. Uh, same down. thing, yep. Yeah. Just running straight up. You know, that's the thing you appreciate about Johnny. He just puts his foot down. He's he don't nice dance. Job. He gets those yards. And, and, you know, you young running backs out there, you know, you that's that's what you do. The dancing around, trying to get to the sideline, no. that's not the way. Play, stick hey, I'll that tell foot you, what, ground, you know how it is. Get up I mean, I used, to ta I used to tell people, you're not playing running back if you're easy to tackle. Right. I mean, you can't be easy. You can't, in a one-on-one -on -one situation, I'm sorry, but the offense has done their job. Right. If you're one-on-one, -on -one, you got to win. you got to win. you got to win that yeah. game. Pine Creek's in a two-by-one set, two running backs. Looks like uh, Cam's ro rolling to the right-hand side. He's got a man. Oh, oh man. Him. Cannon, Cannon. Oh, wow. Hey, we got a penalty down? Yeah, all he had to do. Oh, gosh. Uh, that one not. hurt. But at least Cannon kept going. He kept that seam running, and uh, that's that's good yeah, coaching. Yeah, and that's, that's what you do. Good for him, yeah. yeah. When the play breaks down, you want to yeah, either come back to it. Yeah, because coming up, yep. yeah. Pike Creek comes back out. They have the play. They're in their they're in their set. Two by looks like a running back. Two running back set. Yep. This one you do a little quarterback yeah, they read. Got a, yeah, they got a tight end set. Two running backs. Hand off to Johnny Core. Yeah, they, they were all over that. They sure are. But he still made a couple yards. Yeah, picked up. It wasn't a negative play yard. No. Uh, negative play. So that's going to bring up the end of the third quarter. Pine Is that Creek. already the end? Yeah, of the that third? was a quick one. Wow. Yeah. A lot of running. A lot of running ball. A lot of running. Twenty-six three. Pine Creek leads and in, going into the fourth quarter um, with the third and seven when they when we come back. Senior broker Vaughn Luttrell and son Pine Creek High School inside linebacker coach Justice Luttrell are mortgage brokers with Fidelity Mortgage Solutions located here in Colorado Springs. Stick with the home team and reach out for any and all refinance or purchase needs. Phones are always open and on. That was what high school football is all about. Cam Cooper's back to pass, throws uh, easy out there to Jonathan, Jonathan Core. Wow. Jonathan Core's carrying people Just past the first down marker. Yeah. I'll tell yeah, you what, that's, that, that's, just, that's just great football right that's there. That's an individual effort. The dude that wants to win right. and is like, I'm not going down on the first tackle. And I know John, Johnny, you know, over the years, he's been working on his craft, uh, you know, going to this trainer, that trainer. And it's paying off. Whoever's training this kid, you're doing a great job because it's it's translating out on the football field. That's right. That's right. I'm just glad he doesn't have your hamstrings. Nah. He'd be done yeah, for the he'd season. He'd be done for the yeah. day. He'd be done. 
Looks like a running back set, two running backs, handoff to hey, Mason, Mason Miller, running from right to left. Come on, Mason, Turn come it. on, Mason. Oh, that's a horse collar. That's a horse collar. You got to call that. You got to call that. Oh, my God. That's as obvious of a horse collar you're ever going to see. Really? Wow. All right, that's going to fire up Coach Miller. He might take a shot with him. I'll tell you who that's hey, going to fire up. That's going to fire up Jill Miller. Yeah, that's, 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 not that's a baby you, out there. <laughs> that's not going to be good for that kiddo. Hey, this is where Elijah Roy makes his money, right between the 45 two and 35. Two running backs, two running backs. We got uh, balance set. There it is, Mason Miller up, uh, up the middle, and that's another gain of five or six. I'll tell you what, I see those found four Carson kids are getting up slower yep. and slower this and slower. It's where you just wear them down. Oh, man. You just wear them down. I'm going to go play action. Tell you what, if I'm the JV guys, I'm getting warm. I'm getting warm. It's time to get going, guys. Let's execute. I'm going to play action right another, here. Another two running back set. They're keying in uh, on Elijah. Or on, uh, Another hand Mason. off to Mason. Mason's He's carrying. carrying people. He's carrying. He carried three people there. I think he might be almost to the first down yeah. marker. Nice job by Mason there. And I think he grabbed the ball with two hands. I'm even more happy about that. <laughs> Did you see that? It's like a uh, Bigfoot sighting when Mason has two I'll hands. I'll tell you what. Yeah. <laughs> call, call, call your, call your senators. Call your cars. But you're going to see something you've never seen before. Right. The, el the elusive Bigfoot Mason had the, the hand on the two hands on the what? ball. Let's All get right, a play go. action hit Elijah on, the, on this. Jonathan Kors back in. There it yeah, is. There we go. He's back to pass. Camp Cooper looking to. Oh, that's got to be. Wow. Mm, eh, ball was overthrown, so I think that's a tough situation. Ooh. They, they called that on the other side. Yeah. Let's take a look at that again. Let me see. Maybe. Uh, Elijah kind of slowed Eli down on his route. Yeah, Elijah, seemed, he looks like he's okay. Yeah. He's not, he's not. I'm going back to it. Now, now I'm going to give him a little jab step. Where is that post. post? Where is that the post? The post. You hit him a little corner. Where's that come double, back yeah, post. where's that double move post? Oh, no, he's playing tight, too. He got a little more confidence. Get him. There's that. Hand off. Jonathan Core up. He, people are coming out number 40 for Fountain yeah. Court Carson. 40 is Myron. Stop. So I just looked it up. Myron Johnson's number 40. I thought he was 34. That was your guy? That's the guy I know, yeah. That's Myron? Myron. Myron Johnson. Playing a good game at middle backer. Yeah, that was a good tackle right there because that could have gone for I want to say he's more. a sophomore or junior. What is Myron now? Sophomore. Good. Youngster. God. Sophomore. And that's just how it is with football these days. You got younger and younger kids playing. Two running backs set. <clears throat> Two wide receivers, tight end. Uh oh. Somebody uh, didn't block number 10. Well, that was a nice play by number 10. Was that a safety coming all the way up? No, nah, the middle blitz? backer. Was that a middle it, backer? Yeah, he was out of the middle backer, number 10. Um, take a look at that. It's kind of in the middle. Yeah, I'll tell you what. He knew, he got the message well before the email yeah. got sent. You know how you stop a blitz, right? <laughs> Throw the ball. <laughs> Throw the ball. <laughs> that's not that, but that's not Pine Creek's specialty. <laughs> Never has been. But here's the thing. I mean, you know, it's what fourth down. Screen. <laughs> yeah, middle screen. I like that 91 special. Remember 91 that 91 special hard. we used to do, uh, where you you fake that tunnel and yeah. then you throw it. Here we go. But you don't have any. T we uh, we have one by one on both sides. Come on, we can get this. Two running backs. Your it's defense more, playing good enough. It's more you of a running set, but you send somebody in motion on that makes it even better. Oh, I agree. I agree. Yeah. What but you, you know, got? you know how Coach Miller is. He uh, he's not a big motion guy. <laughs> I've been yelled at once or twice about motion. <laughs> All right, we'll go to commercial break. We'll be right back. SISM Physical Therapy is Pine Creek's athletics physical therapy partner. Located conveniently across the street from Pine Creek High School, SISM PT is dedicated to our community, our athletes, and our families. Come meet their caring and knowledgeable providers, two of which are Pine Creek graduates. Go Eagles!
In memory of Carson Kaplan's grandpa, Bert Ewer, the number one Pine Creek football fan in Indiana. We're going to go for it on fourth down. Pine Creek in a heavy run set. Got him. Got Mason. Oh, they just drew the found for Carson number 24. They drew him off yeah. sides, and I think that's going to be a Pine Creek first down. Nine nine minutes to go in now the they got fourth a, quarter. Was it fourth and five? Because I'm looking at fourth, yeah, it was fourth, fourth and, and ten. Five. Oh, so now it's going to be fourth and five. Okay. Now it's fourth and five, right. Do it again. Another two back set. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't change anything. Tell you what, you don't have any safeties back there. No. Let's get Elijah. I do him on a corner. Yeah. Keep an eye on those inside linebackers. See if there's somebody's coming. Those Play outside. action to Mason. You Everybody's going to bite. Got outside backers only on one side. There he goes. Mason Miller, I think he. That's good. Yeah, he's got plenty for the first down. Oh, yeah. He's he's three yards in. The yeah, first no, down, yeah. Number four is a little shook right now. <laughs> yeah. He was like, whoa, what was that? Number four is texting his mom, making sure she brought the Ivy yeah. Pro tonight. <laughs> He's going to need that on the way He's about. He's going to need that. Yeah. Mason delivered a blow. I mean, and this is where, like we talked about earlier, Chris, late in the fourth quarter, that's when you get a Mason yeah, to, to kind of just wear him down. Let's go 5A football right yeah. here. Yep. If we got this kind of lead, we need to – this is one of those ones I think in the next two weeks we're going to find out a lot about this team. Yeah, exactly. Same setup, two back set, balanced wide receivers on the right and the left hand side. Hand off Jonathan Core, he's bouncing inside, made the first guy miss, probably gain a three or four. Yeah, and I like just how Johnny's kind of being patient and then he's just get, driving clock. Yeah, take what the defense gives him. He's not falling backwards, he's always falling forward. And as a running back, that's what you want to do. Like I said, I've just seen his, his skill set just improve so much in but the last couple Between you and me, years. aren't you ready for Cam to sort of fake that handoff and then sort of do some kind of boot or something like that and I've, just do I've some been, kind of run? I've I been mean, saying this for three straight plays under my breath okay. here, Chris. I thought, I thought you were going to say for three, three straight years. <laughs> no. I mean, there's I, nobody I, there. No, no one's there. They're, they're selling out on the run. There he goes. Cam Cooper's throwing a little swing pass to the right-hand side. Jonathan Core makes the catch, and he is going to get uh, they're gonna there get. is some mustard now on the lettuce. But yeah, it was two. It was I, I two. I didn't even uh, see anybody out there. Oh, my goodness. What is he calling out Jonathan there? Jonathan Core is not playing the same. You can't call holding on two guys on the same team. That <laughs> Let's look at that. Are we missing something here? I mean, balls away. Who's who? Who are we calling on? Nobody. That's not holding. That's blocking. Mm. This is so frustrating as a as a in high school. It's just calling plays just because you, you guys receivers can block. Don, you know how it is. Once you're up 14, yeah, yeah everything changes. And hey, what was that like a, a three yard penalty? What do we got here? I like the play, though. I like the play. Yeah, a little, little, little swing pass out there. I mean, yeah, and you can't, you can't handle him. They can't handle him in space. No, no way. And he's proven that. He's, you know, tight end with uh, two wide receivers to the near side. Got him. Oh, got him. Yeah, 23 jumped off. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is That's no the date a, time. a formidable offensive play, the hard count. Tell you what, I'm and impressed. I'm you impressed. Know. We have never been able to pull that off. And, and it, it, it requires discipline up oh front on the whole line. You changed one thing at Pine Creek, and you were doing nothing but walking backwards. <laughs> one thing. All right. There we go. We're in good situation yeah. here. First, first and, and goal. Ten. First and ten, yep. Well, first and goal. Yeah. Exactly, first and six. Inside handoff, Jonathan Core in. is Gets going to outside. bounce to the left-hand side. Ooh, He's touchdown. running over people, and guess what? Landed on the Discovery Canyon Thunder <laughs> emblem there in the end zone, and that, is, know, a, that is a happy place for uh, Mr. Core. This, hey, and, and like you said, Chris, they can't handle it. Let's look at the replay. He's just he's getting what he's taking what the defense is giving him. Not there. I'm going to bounce it outside. Okay, you want to set up the edge. I'm going to just run you over. Touchdown. Yeah, what are we doing there? Are we are we are we countering that? Are we countering that? We're yeah. not trapping anything. It's a, it's a, it's is, is it a 
It's a, it? it's a counter. Yeah. It is a counter. Yeah. Okay. Just kind of counter back on it, and dart oh, back. Geez. See, that's Play. why you got a counter and then cue. <laughs> yeah. Counter cue. Remember counter cue? Counter cue. Guy named Doman used to. A lot, guy named Brock Doman used to just kill, and we used to kill Found Four Carson on that. Wow. So it's gonna make it 33 to three with seven minutes and 44 seconds left in the game. Pine Creek up. Um, you know, Chris, we talked about this earlier a little bit off camera. It's like it's two different five and O teams that we're looking at right now, right? You got that right. One that has been challenged, played some some tougher competition, uh, and one that maybe haven't played as tough of a schedule, and it's kind of catching up with maybe? them. Maybe. <laughs> Don. <laughs> Trying to give them the benefit maybe? of the doubt. Because now, now they can't run from it, right? Because you're in five A, uh, no. the, the Southern Six League. You got to face. Regis, you got to face right. Legend, you know, you got to face Pine Creek. So I guess, you know, getting early wins means something, but I think I'd rather have my team playing tough um, up front and get battle tested well, uh, than going to that As league. you know, things get cold around here, yeah. and things get, things change when uh, that weather comes in, and, you know, then you – you become a you become a running team sometimes when you can't throw the ball when you when you got yeah. stuff going on relative to your ability to grip the ball handle the ball catch the ball that's gonna be so you just got you just got to be and I have always you know being on being on a Pine Creek side of things we've always had that advantage of being great in cold weather yeah and you know we we try to you know this team has been built over the years to, to withstand that cold weather late in the season. And that's why we've made so many long, you know, playoff Absolutely. runs and, and state championship Absolutely. games. Because we've set ourselves up to be built for that type of Well, it's those defenses too. Yeah. It's those defenses yeah. that those defense, the, and you said it earlier just a minute ago, you're ready for playoff football. Because playoff football, you are. You're playing better teams. You're playing yeah. better teams, better coaches, better yeah. leagues. And uh, at the same time, man, if you're not ready for that, uh, that, that can be a very, very daunting uh, week one, week two of yeah. the playoffs. And now we got a look, some of the, uh, the younger kids and JVs in. Uh, yeah. oh, Found Fort Carson throws the ball a little, uh, little out route. Yeah, over there, little tunnel route on the left hand side. Yeah, I mean it, this is the time where you got down seven minutes. Found Found Fort Carson can you know grab some stats, maybe you know try to see if they can score on the. Uh, the twos and threes for Pine Creek. Well, at least but. we're going to go 10 and four against uh, Found Four Carson. That ain't a bad <laughs> record against a team nah. like this. And, and to be honest, Chris, when you look at the landscape of Colorado Springs versus Pine Creek, that's the closest thing we have to a rivalry. You know. Well, I, mean, I don't. Would you say? Would you say that? Yeah. There's no other team sati that statistically, record-wise, that have matched up with us as a rivalry. No, I, mean, I would agree. I would agree. I mean, if you were looking at... I mean, maybe what, Palmer Ridge. Palmer Ridge, Palmer Ridge Palmer is... Palmer Ridge has won one game against Pine Creek. Playoff game? One playoff game during COVID with... Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. This Ridge... Yeah. They make it a rivalry, but... There know, were some good Vista teams, though. There were some, some good Vista, Vista teams. teams, but record-wise, if you look at it from a program perspective, yeah. Vista Ridge has won three games and lost close to 37 games against Pine Creek's program. Is that, at what, all that, levels. Is that so, what that record is? I mean, from... They're 10-1. and one. Yeah, Pine Creek's 10-1. and 10-1, and one, varsity. But varsity? if you go back to JV and oh freshman. Oh, Lord. Now, no, now you're being mean. I do that. Now you're being mean, I know, Don. But I'm just being Don. real, though. The Don. reality of it is that's the record. I, I mean, I don't. the numbers are the numbers. So that's, I mean, you can't call that a rivalry. <laughs> you, can, you know, this is four uh, four wins against Pine Creek. You know what I love is the 4-0 against Windsor because yeah. those were good games, <laughs> Those were good games. Those were good games. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Case and Allen, I'll tell you what. That's his bread and butter. Try to throw it. Found four Carsons. He's going to throw the ball. He's going back Ooh, to pass, and nice. he just ate. He tried to wind football. up and got a mouth. Unfortunately, yes, full he of sure did. Number forty-four. Forty-four. Jaden Leach came in there and just did a nice laid job. Laid a hammer on him. And that's a good-sized quarterback. You know, number um, what is it? Number nine, six foot. Yeah, yeah. six foot one nine, uh, one sixty-five. Um, yeah, so I won't I won't go into if we get, if we dive into the numbers for real rivalries around this town, Chris. Believe it or not, you know who probably has the best record all time against Pine Creek. Oh, what would be your guess? With me, oh, no, it's not them. If you go historically, 
in Colorado Springs or in the state? Uh oh. Yeah, you knew that uh -oh. was going to happen. Found Fort Carson. They got the JV guys in, so yeah. guess what? Found Fort Carson just get went your, to the house. Get, get your stats in. Number five, yeah. Just number five just padded his stats. Yeah. But, uh, you know, that's. <laughs> You that knew was, that was going to happen. I mean, that was a that's 70, why you got varsity. 74-yard run there, uh, four minutes and 56 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Yeah, let's take a little, a little swing pass, missed tackle, you know. They outran it. You know, but, again, it's four minutes left in the game. You've been plagued with injuries, you know, at your quarterback position, a couple of players here and there. You got starters in with four minutes left. You're down by, yeah. you know, yeah. you're down by 30 points. We're, we're chasing stats right now. That's what we're doing. Um, and that's fine. And that's just how high school is these days. But, but uh, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. Keys and Lauer Architects. 35 years of commercial design excellence on the front range of Colorado. Our proud sponsors of the Pine Creek Eagles. camera debate about true rivalries. We've come to the conclusion that no. uh, Tom Fort Carson is the closest <laughs> in the discussion. <laughs> Nobody else is a rivalry. Those are games we play each year. So. Well, all right, all right. Pine Creek, Pine Creek's rivalries are, are the Chatfields. They're the Regises. They're right. the Lovelands. legends, the Lovelands. Yeah. Yeah, I, no, they're, they're, they, they, you got to get out of Colorado Springs. Yeah, I'll, you know, we're talking Colorado Springs. Yeah, well, there's the, yep. Yeah. 33-10 is the score right now. Pine Creek uh, is up with four minutes and 56 seconds left in the game. Still a little bit of time, but like I said, uh, you know, this is – you play with fire when you keep starters in. Right. There, I mean, you're, you're, there's not – you don't have a play that can get you – 23 points on one play. So. What, what kills me is we've never beat Columbine and we've never beat Lakewood. Right. Those games sucked. I remember I, those. Those were not fun. Because we were out, uh, we, I don't know, we just didn't have it. That's when we were, you know, filling our way with the 5A yeah, games. We were, we were. We were one of those few teams that would do, were that was taken on 5A teams back oh, absolutely. then. Absolutely. But it was fun. All right, let's go. Justice Nicholson. Yeah, that was a good hop. Pine Creek's bringing the ball back uh, on the kickoff, and they're going to go out of bounds at about the 27-yard line, 28-yard line. Okay. Okay, we got some. Uh... 4.49 to go in the fourth quarter. Pine Creek up 33. Who's going to come in at quarterback? That's my question. Oh, Cam's going to come back there. we got to go JV. Come on, man. I don't know if Todd was uh... – too fond of them, you know, keeping their varsity, uh, their starters in, and uh, I'm going to try to take a shot. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> they still got their starters in. Oh, those were good days. I'm going to be like, okay. Here we go. They, yeah, they got the, they got varsity. Varsity's in. Yeah, Cam Cooper's still in. Uh, we just got reminded that, yeah, yes, we do know, Steve, that. Uh, Two oh, oh, Malachi, here we go. go. Turn it. Keep it going. Tell you what, Malachi Harkley. Found Fort Carson had no answer for that. That kid's gonna be something special here, man. What he is, is he? What is he? A sophomore? Sophomore. Yeah, let's take a replay. Malachi just kind of got on number the edge. Number 15. He's he got went. Brock Doman's old number. Yeah. You know, I was telling somebody early in the season I was watching him play in the scrimmage, one of the first scrimmage. Kid runs hard. Runs like Adrian Peterson. Really? You know, he just, uh -oh. he just, he, he's angry when he's running Is the he? ball. Yeah. I like this kid. play. Thank you, you. Thank you. Wow. God, with the quarterback cue. We've been calling it all day. We've been calling that for the last quarter. <laughs> wow. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, it's a cue. Quarterback cue on it, boom. 
That's a five bob Q. <laughs> That's what that was, five bob Q. And then he stutter said, uh, uh, like, kiss, kiss. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, that's not good. That that kiddo, that Fountain Four Carson kid is not going to want that nah, tape. Nah, that's you know? what I mean. You got your starters no. out there. What are you going to do? He's not going to want that tape. Yeah. Good for him. Good for him. Hammy just, uh, just shot out of there like a rocket, no, you good know. Good for him. But we finally, yeah, Q, man. We've been calling it all game. We've been now, calling it all game. Now you let other schools know. We can do that. <laughs> no, 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 and, uh, and that's what you do. Um, Extra point is good. We have four minutes and ten seconds to go in this 5A contest in Colorado Springs, Colorado, between Fountain Fort Carson at Pine Creek. 40 to 10. Uh, Pine Creek's getting ready. They got uh, two more games this uh, the next two weeks, my friend, and uh, those aren't going to be easy. We're no. going to Regis and we're going to Legend back to back, 10-6 um, and 10-13. Um, and those games are both, uh, one's a 6.30 p.m. start, one's a 7 p.m. start. Um, and those are going to be for all the marbles. Right, and that's uh, th those that those two games, that the, the next two weeks is going to determine it is sure it, the, a lot of things for this uh, this conference. Um, we see Fort Carson. Don't think they're really in the mix for the league. But, you know, they still got they, they beat Regis last year, but, you know, I think when you start playing some little tougher competition, it kind of shows. Um, this is a returnable ball. And a, yeah, Regis barely beat uh, Valor, correct? And then Malachi comes in. He sure did. Nice job, Malachi. On the, uh, special teams and made a tackle. Yep. So we got. Um, this is our schedule. Re Regis coming up. Yep. Regis comes in. Uh, we got Regis next next Friday uh, at Regis, and then, like you said, Legend. You get through those games unscathed, you got a chance. You got a chance to, to position yourself well, come playoff. Because I'll, I'll tell you what, and I've always applauded Todd Miller for being willing to play a tough schedule. I mean, you're, half of the teams that you're playing are in the top 20 in the state. Yep. Uh, you start off, you know, Valor's, you know, the perennial, you know, a perennial right. powerhouse in terms of what they've been able to offer. But yeah, but but when you sort of couple of the sandwich in there with the uh, the legends yep. and the uh, Regis's, uh, the Fountain Four Carsons, I mean, I'm sorry, but you got to you got to stay healthy, and uh, you got to. You got to read a lot of film. Yeah, and uh, you know, I was reminded by, hand by off, uh, hand, Steve. inside handoff. I found for Carson. He bounces to the left hand side. Looks like it's gonna be a short game. Nah, no game. No uh, gain of one. Steve Ertz reminded us. Speaking of, we had just brought your name up, Steve, uh, <laughs> earlier. Chris and I uh, that uh, Valor has the most win against us. And you know, our conversation was about rivalry. So we're not really a rivalry to Valor because we ain't beat them enough. Well, Steve, <laughs> the, the reason why your name got brought up, Steve, is because we were talking about very handsome men. We were talking about the most handsome men that we know. All right, we're going three by one set by uh, Found Four Carson. I don't know if they're going to be throwing the ball. Nope, handing off. Running back is not going to go for much. I'll tell you what, Malachi. That kid's making up. the name for I'll himself. I'll tell you what, yeah, that's a, that's a gain of zero. Yeah, he's a guy that, uh, you maybe know. Not, maybe two. You know, he's just, you know, he just, he's right there. and, and He's, he's doing a great job. Lead. I'll he's, tell you what, he's had a great game. He's a great game. And that's why you play these kids at this point, so that they can get that confidence, so Absolutely. they can get that experience. Absolutely. And, and when you need them in a big moment, they come through. Yeah, we got uh, Jalen Seegers, the number 17. No. No, they, they got, got all their starters in. Court it's a heavy start. running set. He's going to, quarterback's going to roll to the right. He's going to chuck the ball to the right hand side on a deep out pattern. Uh, it looks like they got some of their younger kids in. Uh, number two, Ryan. Ma 18 is Ryan. Uh, Ryan Manigando, uh, kid uh, actually started out at Pine Creek, played at Pine Creek his freshman year. Yeah. So Ryan, and then they got another kid that played three years at Pine Creek and transferred uh, offensive lineman, Matt Jennings. Um, probably don't feel that good taking this one from Pine Creek on the chin, but hey, you got to do what you got to do for yourself. Take a punt. We got punt return yeah. here. Got but, uh, one man deep. Number uh, seven is deep for the punt. Yeah. Ryan's a great snap, kid. Snap, actually. It's a good snap for Fountain Fort Carson. It's going to be a little short. It's, it's going to be, be Peter, short. Peter, 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 Peter. Watch your Peter. Whoa. Uh-oh. 
Yeah, I'll be honest with you. That's probably Who is that? that's not the information that. <laughs> oh, Nico. Oh, that explains it. Nico. Uh, is it? <laughs> he done that. I remember freshman year. Oh, there was no. a little a shank punt, and uh, it was a it was going to be a loss of yards on the punt. He's just he's just zoning in on. It. He catches and takes off, and then he gets hammered. I go, what are you doing? I don't know what just happened there, but yeah, that's not no. A guy named Leith Ed would have he he would have done something to you right yeah. there. <laughs> he got caught up in the moment. Oh, he would have. He would have not been happy. Oh, we got JV in, baby. It's time yeah, to get in the hammer. To, let's go. Let's go hammer, What baby. is that play? Uh, watch this. What is that play? We We're haven't seen that before. We about to get nasty with him on this one. This. <laughs> yeah, this is this is this is when you create stardom right here. <laughs> and this is when you got something to talk about this weekend. Blue, gray, uh, wow, that's a heavy running set. Three running backs back there. Quarterback. Oh, here we go. Great. Okay. Snap it to the quarterback, and he is going to just take it for maybe a yard or two. Oh, they still got a few of their starters up there. 23's in there. Three's in. Oh, this is their whole starting defense. So, oh, hey, this starting is even defense. better for the, uh, the, the the JV guys. To Absolutely. Get, go get you a score on these guys. I still want to score on 11 with a post. Yeah. Now they got some of the traded yeah, guys. Yeah, now they got four in there. Another heavy running set. Feeling what's going to happen. Here we go. Inside handoff, running from the right side to the left side. Malachi is going to, I don't know. He's going to be close to the first, first down. down. Nice job. That looks like first down. And I think he stayed in bounds. Yeah. Good job. Let Malachi give Bus one loose. That, quarter, that quarterback, he was, uh, that was nasty, wasn't it? When the, that I mean, last some, people, some people just have it. Some people just have it. Dude, some he, people just, you know, you see it when you see it. Yeah. So uh, looks looks like Pine Creek, Bar and Miracle is going to walk heavy away. Heavy running set. I'll tell you, Bar. All right, a little pitch to the Malachi coming to the outside. outside. Come on, oh, buddy. It's close line. A little bit. Yeah. It's going to be short. It's going to be third and maybe one. Go for it. Why not? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know you're not throwing the ball. Yeah, it did, you know, we, we I was expecting a very uh, competitive game. Don't know if we really got that, Chris. No. Uh, I didn't see anything where... But it was solid. Solid effort. Solid effort on Pine Creek, but I didn't see... It. Final Four Carson didn't threaten no, nothing. Nothing. They the didn't get game. better. They had a little. They had a little. They had a, a little seam of life in the second quarter. Yep. But I'll be honest with you. I think the second half belonged to Pine Creek too. Yep. Now we're running that uh, heavy left side. See what happens here. We're gonna take a penalty. No, and call timeout. Let Malachi bust one loose here. Get him on a little counter. Twenty-four counter. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, so we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. We would also like to thank our other sponsors for this evening, Mark Jones Homes, Kintera Team, Heron Electric, and Melissa Allen with Caldwell Banker. Arena going on here. 40 to 10, fourth and one, the 31 yard line. They're gonna go for it. Move them around, move them around. There we go. Uh oh. Here they go, here they go. Here they go. Getting heavy on the right hand side. One, one running back in dot, and he is gonna get the first down. I'll tell you what. That's gonna be. That's a, the ball game, ladies that's and gentlemen. That's ball game. Pine Creek's gonna win it 40 to 10. Um, Two programs have a lot of history together. Yeah, shaking hands. You see yeah. those uh, those coaches? They got a lot of appreciation yeah. for one another. And they've been at this uh, against each other for quite a while since Coach Novotny's been at um, Fountain Fort Carson. I mean, he's gotten a, his first year at Fountain Fort Carson. Got us back. In Is 16. that the same guy? Yeah, same guy. He did get us. You know, and uh, but uh, you know, Not this two year. two programs that got quite a bit of history. Um, you know, 
I'd love to see these guys. These guys all know each other, you know, from around town. And, yeah, that's just how it is in Colorado Springs. But Pine Creek was the, the better team tonight. They were, you know, I think coming in be, uh, more battle-tested, but, you know, quality opponents um, kind of showed. They, they, they kind of control this game from the beginning to the end. But at the same time, I think we stay humble. We yep. stay humble because we get, we know what's coming up. Yep. These next two games are what, what's going to really define the season. Yep. The next two games is, is definitely going to make or break your positioning when it comes to playoffs, so, you know. Yeah, because it's not going to be Chaparral and it's not going to be Douglas County. No. You know, that's kind of a way to get healthy there at the end of the year. Yeah. But at the same time, uh, you know, let's establish and let, give somebody else somebody to, you know, yeah. something to talk about uh, as you get it ready for playoff football. Yeah, and uh, for Carson, a lot of their players going off the field. You know, and I can stick around for the little, you know, prayer in the middle. Um, but, hey, you know, you came up here, took your lump. You know, some of the guys are sticking around. But, yeah, I was, I was, that was about as poor a Final Four Carson team as I've seen in a long time. <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I'm not trying to be mean. No, I mean, you're right. I mean. No, that just wasn't, there was nothing spectacular about their, no. their program. And you, and you, this had all the billings to be a, a, a great game, being 5-0. and And, sure and that did. just tells you right there, not all 5-0s and or undefeated teams are equal, you know. No, they sure aren't. Uh, opponents matter, <laughs> you know, yeah. I'll say it like that. And with that being said. We're going to go ahead and um, sign off. And I uh, want to thank Chris for, for coming in again. And, oh, you man. know, the Dream tell Team, what, Greg, putting it all together behind the scenes. I have a, I'll tell Kai you what, on Mr. the cameras. Kai, the team. Jeremy uh, Trujillo on the Phil camera. So we, we've grown this Mr. little. Uh, this little thing, Greg and Killing it. Greg and I kind of kept going for the last couple of years is growing. So, still, if you're interested in getting behind a camera, uh, maybe keeping stats, let us know. Good we would love to stuff. add that to our repertoire. We are blessed. Yeah, we are blessed. So we're doing a great job, uh, Chris. As usual, Greg. Tell you what, the best coach I know, Don we'll, we'll, we'll take a break. Not quite sure if we're going to do a legend or a Regis game. We'll, we'll see if we if we decide we'll put that information out. But right now, we're planning to be back for Douglas County. Yeah, Douglas County in two weeks or three weeks, actually. So, all right, that'll be it.